Well, I'll take a stab at it then. So this is the latest long play. We're finally done with Open TTD. It ended up being the long non longest non Nancy Drew long play we've had on the channel. Ah, Will of Orion beat it though. We're told how long it is. In any case, this one destroyed Urtuk, which was a Battle Brothers like. Honestly, I thought it would win Urtuk, but no, Avorion, the Dark Horse, comes in. So, aside from setting up that we test game to make sure things look and sound okay, I've never played this game, I've never seen this game. Indications from chat tell me that this was in early access for a while, which would be a big reason why I've never really looked at it. And the fact that it's set in space. I'm not big on space games, but I've been told this game's got some good economy going for it, and I like that. So we'll jump in with a new single-player game. Might as well just play it on normal mode. And again, I think we will stick to normal mode. Feels bad not trying out how hardcore it is, but I don't even know how to play this game, so might as well go normal, normal. What's the name of our galaxy? I don't really know. I'll call it Molten. It's usually my go-to name for uh, places. And as for the seed, I'm going to use Alpha Gamo's name for the seed because he really likes space for some weird reason, so space might as well be him. It would like being... it would be like becoming the Reapers for Helden. Collision damage? Yeah, fool. And we might as well play the tutorial because I have no idea how to play this game. Let's get going. Marvin is not from Molten, though. Molten is the fictional city used in the browser game Urban Dead. Single player, server, blah blah blah. Hopefully that doesn't cause any issues, but we don't play online. Interesting. Reconstruction kits, ships destroyed, reconstruct immediately. I feel like the hint there is that there's going to be a fair bit of destruction of your ships. I wonder if there's attrition. I'm told you can build a large fleet and potentially automate stuff, so... Well. This is just bits and bobs, there's very little I know about this game. Oh yeah, good reason to blame Alpha Gamma was always good. Then again, he's the one with a sword because he destroyed Factorio, Death World, and they only needed to roll one seed for it. Admittedly, my seed, but that's okay. Your performance will end up determining if I'm going to purchase this game. Uh, are we talking my in game performance or the game's performance? That's fairly unlikely in its load times, I'll give it that, but it is creating a galaxy, I suppose. Both, no pre- well, I'm not feeling any pressure, it's no skin off my nose. I'm here to have a good time and hopefully make loads of money. When flying at a kilometer a second, you're actually blasting at 2301 miles per hour, which is almost Mach 3. Does that make any sense? Maybe. all this then. I'm <laughs> dead to buy the stuff he dislikes. <laughs> no, I have, a, I have a fair bit of faith in this game. It looks pretty cool from the very small amount of it that I've seen, even though it's based in space. Welcome to Avarion. Look around. It seems to be a dying planet, or maybe some kind of mined out planet here. I don't seem to have the option to move, strangely enough. Ah, here we go. So it's got this weird but kind of cool UI thing where if we hold shift we can freely move around the mouse and if we don't we move around the camera. I like that. Continue on. And now we can move forward. Or we can move back. And this funny hint here, pressing S will not make you break faster. That's rather nice. So the, ga the ships we have are automatically going to come to a full and complete stop. Brilliant. Alright, carry on then. Current speed at the top. I tried to find the most non-intrusive place for chat, because I always like to have chat on stream. In fact, I really dislike not having it. Blue means you're flying in the direction. Orange means you're flying opposite. Okay, what if, what if we're turning around? Then it went orange. Cool. And we can boost. Little Minecraft spaceship's got some beans to it. Boosting requires energy. Use up too much. Other systems won't be able to have enough energy. So we have that tiny, tiny little green bar there is energy. And I don't know what the yellow bar above it is. Ah, here it is. It's energy reserves. So... Until they recharge. So what, do those recharge? Heavens knows. 
Damn you, Jake, you've got me into games I never intended on playing. You even got me to watch F1 for crowd. Nah, that wasn't F that wasn't official F1. It was Zhang He's own motorsport managing. It was good though. To get a fast flying ship to a complete standstill, you'll have to turn your ship so it's facing the opposite direction and boost. So if we're going really fast, we could go wee and then come to a kind of full and complete stop. Heavens knows. Odd tip to give right at the start here, though. That is particularly important for larger ships with more mass. Oh. Yeah, the thought that we could make some absurdly large ship is rather appealing. Maybe we can just ram our enemies to death. We have strafing as well. Good. And we can go up and down. Doesn't feel like I'm going up and down, but I'll trust it's happening. Where are my thrusters at? And then Z index to perform barrel roll. Pepe would be proud. Now that you know how to steer your ship, it's time to gather resources. Resources are used to build ships. They can be sold for credits. I already like that idea of gathering resources to sell them. An asteroid has been highlighted. Use middle mouse to select it. Is it this one? Probably. Fly towards it and mine its resources. This is getting all miney crafty on us, isn't it? I'd rather strafe around the thing and go directly into it, because that's exactly how accidents happen. And then just brrrr to victory, it seems. Fascinating. Right, well, there goes the asteroid. Mine 1500 iron. Asteroids with bright spots are rich in resources. So you look pretty rich. I think we're too far away from it. Yeah, it says too far. Right. Get nice and close, but not ramming speed close, and then just brrrt. Uh, so how do I know how much iron I've got? I see in the bottom right, two, seven, uh, 917 plus 19 iron. And breaking that apart gives me a whole heap of iron. Excellent. I kind of fell out of love with Minecraft after they introduced hunger, so it's nice to play some kind of Minecraft-like, even if it's in space. There we go, surely that's a ton of iron. Oh, a whole heap. I believe Floodland only just came out, Mumia, so I've not looked into it. Somebody mentioned it, and I didn't go further than that, because heavens knows I've got plenty of games at the moment. So, you've received a mission. Open up player menu, and you can see missions. Okay, emergency call. Huzzah. Emergency call, help the poor soul out. Add armed turrets. I like the sound of that already. Hopefully chat is not getting in the way of our order there. It's getting in the way of the tutorial though. Open the building menu and yeah, this is going to be what we just did earlier, if I can remember how it's done. Turn the camera around and we're going to strip off the existing ones. Uh, no, no, with the delete key. And then we're going to add in our chain guns. I assume mining turrets are not amazing for um, for killing with. Add three. Or maybe I have more of these than I thought. I can't build the third one because I can only support two systems. We need subsystems. We're going full FTL here. And that's where we go and slam in this subsys subs subsystem. And now we're getting all sorts of chain gunny. Nice. Where's that distress bacon? Uh, are you it? No? God, this is why you shouldn't be calling on me for help. I don't even know where you are. Oh, open your galaxy map to see where it came from. Ah, clever. Looks like it's coming from over here. 
click on the sector with right mouse, enter it to navigation computer. Galaxy is a bit big here, right? If that's a single square, it's part of a 10 by 10 square in part of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 by 10 square. And each square appears to be rather large. Oh well, hopefully we'll be able to hire other people to deal with that for us. Now let's go! Too shabby. Curious if you're gonna... Oh, you're curious when I'm gonna try it. I'd love to see you play it well. I will probably forget about it after this, so if somebody can poke me and tell me look at Floodlands afterwards, I will check it out. Uh, oh, right. Thank you so much for your help. You came at just the right moment. Uh, you doing alright? Ship is damaged. We need to get out of here immediately. Alright, let's skedaddle. You're jammed. Ships are coming in. We have to fight. Well, this is why we put guns on. Are you the guy that's been talking to me? I can't appear to press F to interact, but I can certainly go and kick some ass. I wonder what happens if I just don't defend him. Man, I am good. And now I'm significantly less good. Maybe two or each square as part of a playthrough. See you in 70 hours. Well, the warning was that this game could take 250 hours, which would then become the longest non-Nancy Drew long play. But I don't think we're going to be at this for 250 hours. We're not Alpha Gamo playing X3. I really wanted to see what X4 is all about, but Alpha just insists on not making any progress in F3, uh, X3. Right, so I'm assuming this is the game just trying to teach us that... You will die, and you have to deal with death. I like the description there that ships can be miles long, though. So yes, getting destroyed is part of the game. You are placed in a drone. You keep all your current money and resources. Does that include the iron that we picked up, I wonder? Maybe so, maybe no. Experienced players never invest all their resources in a single ship. But anytime you don't, you're just betting against yourself. Time to create the new meta. I'm so sorry, says the adventurer. I was desperate when I called for help. I don't think that the one that came to my rescue was going to be in such a small... What are you, what are you calling small here? Uh, anyway, stiff upper lip. We'll be fine. But I'm sure you had a reconstruction kit. A what now? Reconstruction kits purchased. They allow you to reconstruct your ship anywhere. Uh, it's an alternative to tow, but that's more expensive. I had to give all my money to those pirates so they would let me go. Why are you talking to me from 25 kilometers away? Assuming that's what he's doing. I can't pay them to show your ship. I'll think of something. I'll get you your ship back in the meantime. Build your... Okay. Uh, don't worry. I did a bit of this off screen. And I'm still going to forget how it's done. Looks like a more advanced version of what you did in LEGO Racer. After you pay that, you just need to think of a good name. Yeah, sure thing. So, inventory. Help me out here. Um, that's not my loads of iron that I picked up, so I'm going to assume we lost it. We've learned how to build a ship, and now if we click on this... Ooh, ship name, ship name. Who's going to be our very first ship? Do we have anyone in chat who's very sizable on space-related stuff and wants to be our first undoubtedly doomed ship. Hopefully someone with a cool name. I don't want to fly around in some lame The Goka, for example. Alpha's already the galaxy, so that's, uh, that's a bit big. Absolutely Alpha. Alright, we'll put in the ultimate cringe name. The Demon 321X2. Definitely going to be crying over losing this one. You're a bit blockier than I imagined, but that's probably okay. 
Right, welcome to build mode. Here you can build, modify, and arm the Demon 321X2. What a cool sounding ship. Right. I'm not a big fan of being the Borg cube, so let's fix that. First off, we need an engine. Add these to your ship. How about a big engine? Go big or go home, right? I don't know if I'm centering that correctly. Let's look at... Oh, that's hard to see. Oh, then that's that's big. That's getting perhaps even too big. How about we have it match there? Clunk. Now you can go straight ahead. In the top left corner of the screen, you can see how much of each material you own. Oh, I guess we did keep that 1500 iron, I think. I like the idea that we can harvest the universe in order to create our ultimate ship, or even fleet of ships. Who says we can't invest everything in the demon? Now that your ship can go forward, it needs to be able to turn. Build enough thrusters to turn in each direction. This seems like a heck of a multi-thrust right there. What if we put you on each side? Crunch and crunch. Didn't even cost that much iron. Although the idea that the thrusters are so much larger than the uh, engine itself leads me to worry a bit. Maybe we could do something like that. Okay, it's it's no longer a Borg cube, it's a Borg cuboid. We have our properties here. Again, not obscured by chat, excellent. If stats are red, it has some problems you need to address. If they're yellow, they could benefit. Surely blue is good then. Now we need to build some housing for your future crew. Make sure you have enough for at least 10 people. Well, the crew should definitely be in the center point-ish, right? Mmm, yeah, sure. Crunch. Is that enough for ten people? I've hurt acceleration and maximum velocity with that, probably because we're just getting heavier, right? Is that enough? How do I know how much housing it has? Ah, it can house eight, so let's up that a fair chunk. The additional one didn't add eight, though. It added another four. It went to twelve. Hmm... Check DDR engineer. Well, we don't have to build bridges here for now. What if we can reconstruct things from other games in this? That would be hardcore. Right, you can build more than cubes. They're all kinds of shapes. Let's start with an edge. Given our ship is called the Demon, there's plenty of edge here already. Uh, rotate by holding R and then clicking. Ooh, now that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that. Right, here you go. And, of course, we got to have it looking fine on the other side. Mmm. Fortunately, you don't have to care about being aerodynamic in space. Right. All kinds of tools to make building earlier. Mirroring, snapping, merging. Open the blocks window, see everything that's available. Ooh. Torpedo storage. Functional, non-functional block. Functional blocks will increase your ship's processing power. How do we know if it's functional or non-functional? Ah, it even says there, functional block. And then it doesn't say, ooh, framework. Light, cheap, little hit point, no special functionality, mostly aesthetic. Amazing, how do I get rid of that? Middle click and delete. Did I get my iron back from that? That's important. Good, the game doesn't punish experimentation. This game's getting a lot of big check marks from me right away, and we're not even playing. Right, more and more processing power, unlock, subsystem sockets, processing power is limited by building knowledge. We can have processing power of 800 for subsystem sockets. Where is our processing power? Is that you? Okay, I'm only using 72. Easy. Even when you build a maximum amount... Uh, maximum. You can still build non-functional blocks like hull armor and solar panels to delete a block. I've already deleted a block. I don't need to know how to do that. Fine, we'll, we'll delete one if you insist. And then, oh, we can undo it. Lovely. Necessities are covered. Increase your ship's size until it reaches 300 health. Armor blocks give many hit points. Right. Well, our acceleration and max velocity are simply not good enough. So we're going to... Put in the Jesus Cross. Yes. 
Now we got something going for us. We've got to smite all the demons in space. And what are we going to do? There was mention of armor block, right? Mm, if bridges don't need symmetry, surely spaceships don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a dumb look. Hey, come now. Don't, don't lay into my first ship, the Demon 321X2. Uh, can I get some some cool... Ooh, wow. Weird, weird shapes going on here. I just want some nice plating going on. I don't want to interfere with the cross, though. The, the cross is an important part of this. Where was where was the whole shape making thing? It was um 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 um. Here we go. Now this game has pre-mades. I think we should make a solemn vow right here at the start to never ever use a pre-made ship. Mm, I feel like that needs some caveats. I don't know what kind of game this scales to. I don't know if it's a game that scales to having three ships, ten ships, or a thousand ships. So, if it ends up being something that has an enormous amount of them, I think what we would end up doing is taking ships designed by people in the community, if it goes that way, and heavens knows if it will. Dang, my acceleration and stuff still says it wants some work. But that should be fine for a starting ship. Time for some serious smiting. What if I add this here as well, though? I wouldn't mind a bit of extra. Okay, there we go. Not too shabby. Acceleration and max velocity still apparently not good enough, but I'll believe this is okay. It even says my sh ship is great. Or rather, they're saying it's great that it's ready. And we've got space in the front for mounting guns if we ever get some, which I hope we do. I'm going to save this design. Oh, thanks for showing off my save path. Thankfully, I don't use anything um, too revealing there. Let's see your ship blueprint. You built yourself and designs that you've subscribed to the Steam Workshop. Ha! Let's never go groveling to Steam Workshop. Yellow is because you need more crew to get peak performance. Does that mean I need more space for crew? Your ship is ready. You might be onto something with the whole needing more crew thing. Let's have another crew quarter right here. And maybe another one? Well, now I'm out of iron, so that's going to have to do. <laughs> I like this already. Right, if you change dimension to your ship, camera perspective, change, zoom in, out, mouse wheel, lovely. I didn't save the design of the ship, did I? Where's my create ship menu? Save design. First ship smite. There's something to be said about it being called Demon. Where's the save button? There we go, save. Hey, nice. Very, very nice. You built yourself a new ship. Good job. Yes, I'm rather proud of it. You're going to have to hire some crew. Most stations have unemployed crew members. Hire them. Check it out. Okay. Talk station. Do it manually. Now, I have 27,000 credits. Hopefully, that's enough to start hiring people. The game isn't flickering some bad-looking signs at me, but we'll get there. Are mining lasers, you get high yields of ore that you have to refine. Probably just little hints to be found around the place. Dock at the station, manually, or tractor beam. Landing strips, straight lines, lights leading to station. And one more thing, you should be on the lookout for some titanium. White spots, it's light, durable. Why are we not mining asteroids in real life, by the way? It seems like there's just so much resource to be had out there. I'll be gone now, I have my affairs, check in with you soon. Yeah, you did get absolutely rushed by pirates, didn't you? You, Doc, give me some crew, please. Hire crew, hire ten crew, yeah, okay. And then we have a ship button. And mechanics. The sign button didn't deactivate, had more people, da 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 Okay, can we get... We can get extra performance. Ah, but only up to 200%, it seems. Fascinating. Right, we'll just enable auto-assign. Why would we not... Oh, Christ, they cost money. 
I did not agree to spending money on my crew. Okay, so I guess they have a basic salary. Let's, let's fiddle around with this. Basic salary of 150 credits per crew member. And then you add on to that with each of these... Wait, that only put it up by... Oh, that's cost per three hour? And what's this, cost per hour? Don't know, not sure we care. Just auto assign them. You can always switch your drone using the mark window in the thingy thing thing. Your drone can collect resources or do hyperspace jumps. Use it for scouting. Well, my ship isn't damaged, so surely that's not a problem. Now re-enter ship. See for tango. And, ooh, an inbuilt almanac. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, screw this whole just go to the wiki nonsense. Put it in your game if it's that good. If you don't know anything about the game, which I don't, look it up there. Congratulations, you finished the tutorial! Sweet! It only took half an hour, not bad. Now, there's probably still going to be a reasonable amount of following that the game tells me to do, because I have no idea. There also doesn't appear to be any kind of just save your game thing, so I'm guessing you make a mistake, you got to live with it. We'll be making plenty of mistakes, but it's on brand for the channel. Buy or sell resources. Do I really want to do that? Surely I want to go and get some first, so you go away. Your ship is very weak. If you want to survive, you should arm it better. Add shields or extend it. Shields? I would like that. Thank you. Thanks for your help with those pirates. You should explore the galaxy, use your newly learned skills, improve your ship, get your hands on some titanium. I'm sure we'll meet again sometime. He's giving me back the guns I started with and even the turret control subsystem. Well, <laughs> man, I, I wish the emails I got had free crap in it like that. Instead, it's just, here's a key to our early access survival crafting game. I've seen your channel. I know you'll love it. Thanks. Right, well, since we got our goodies, let's... Was this a ship menu thing? I think it was. Here's the subsystem. And then when we go to the... That's <laughs> so freaking cool. Uh, when we go to building mode... Probably trying to tell me how to do things, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in putting on my guns. I'm wondering if there's a quick way to switch between having mining guns and not mining guns. Well, it matters little. The time has come for... Mm, yeah, screw it. The, uh, the crew can be out there at front. If the crew quarters can't take a beating, how can we expect the uh, ship itself to take a beating? Not enough crew members for all mining turrets. Easily sorted, surely? Wait, what, what about this auto-assign? Why are you not auto-assigning crew to mining? Assign all-rounder crew members. Oh, maybe you need specific people for mining. Crew payment is due every three hours. You can set automatic payment in the fleet tab of the player menu. Fleet tab of the player menu. Why would we not just auto-pay? It seems like a simple way to take care of it. Maybe you think maybe things can get out of hand in terms of expenses. You can hotkey guns and mining with different buttons. Okay, how? How, how, how? Because I have a feeling I want to swiftly change between this and not this. Hold on, we can we can spray paint the thing. The colors available here seem a little limited and samey. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. What's the most Jesus crucifixy color we could have for this bad boy? Demon, you are our ship. You may as well make the choice, right? Brown for a wooden cross? Or a silver for a silver cross? Rough wood brown, says Mort II, who is certainly close enough. Yeah, there we go. Power of Christ has never been so compelling. <laughs> oh man, I think that made it look significantly worse, but I'll take it. Still don't know how to do this whole... Um hotkey stuff, but I'll take it. Oh, maybe there's a whole turrets thing. Maybe there's 
Mm, don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out in due time. Point is, ship's good to go, and we were told to go and mine stuff, and hey, would you look at that? It looks like a block for mining? Is it? I can't really tell what it is. Uh, it's hard to tell if that's an artificial device or not. Ah, well, hell, let's get mining. Oh, it auto pops up, but doesn't pause the game. Interesting. There's probably some do not auto pop up thing. Titanium, very light, better properties than iron, energy, batteries, generators. Thank you. But I'm having it all. I've got a crew to pay now. Game is still warning me that my ship is very weak. But maybe the idea is that I can use this titanium to start making some shields. I would certainly like to hire some dedicated mining people if we're going to be doing a fair, fair amount of this. Still, hefty amount of titanium. Perhaps if I sell it for some dosh. Oh, you, you just passed by. Where was that station that I was just at seconds ago? There you are. You're now talking to the automated interaction. Da -da 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 -da. Can I hire some crew? Can I hire a miner? Probably no child labor in this, but I would like someone who is skilled at mining. Engineers may run all technical blocks. Cannot da 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 da. Defend against enemy border. Whoa, what's going on with my power system here? See the bottom? It's all flashing at me and stuff. Battery is empty. Energy deficiency. Maybe we need more power on this thing? Ah, here we go. Ship system's using up all energy. More energy than it can produce. Oh, that sounds bad. Titanium, huzzah. Thanks for your help with those pirates. Explore the galaxy. Sure, visit colonized. Keep up to date. What's going on? Thank you. But, uh, how do I, how do, I do something about my severe lack of power here? We're only running on faith. Uh, apparently that counts as unread. Oh, oh, he's giving me something. Building knowledge, tier two. And there was a way to use that, right? Inventory. Double click. Hey, now we know how to build more stuff. Hopefully my life systems aren't failing. That would suck. Okay. How can we improve our ship so that it actually has enough power? Is there some kind of power generation cube that I can use? There we go, see, generated energy way down. What can we do about that? I don't know. Maybe if I took off the, um, the guns, they wouldn't keep using up all my power. Do they passively use power? Still says generated energy is insufficient for required energy. I don't want to. I don't want to reduce the um, the power of the cross. What I could probably do is grab you, and how would I just? Oh, ribbons. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Could we take you and then transform the block? And then, and then, and then, and then, oh, oh, no, that, that literally transformed it into crew quarters. All right, screw it, we'll just delete it then and try and make a smaller, wimpier thruster. Uh, it is pretty small and wimpy, though. There we go, hopefully you don't need quite as much energy anymore. Must be something I can do with you. I just want to make it smaller, not anything else. Mm, don't know. There's going to be a lot of stuff that takes a while to learn. Right. Required energy is still way too high. This is one energy hungry bugger. Maybe I need to get rid of one of those crew quarters. Because I don't think we need that much. So if I go you and get rid of you. James, it still requires tons of energy. I don't want to. I don't want to lower the power of the Holy Cross here, but I think I have to. Don't need guidance thrusters. Jesus always goes straight. <laughs> Eesh. 
Okay, how about we take you and get rid of you? And it still requires tons of energy. Wow, even now it still requires too much. Right, we will we will figure this one out. For now though, we're gonna have a wimpy final it still requires more energy. Okay, um There we go. That is very sad. But someday we'll have enough energy for those to be big and strong. You have a subsystem that can be installed. Open ship subsystems to install them. But I just did that, but. Turret control subsystem. Oh, right. I think we shot that off by reducing the size of our thing, but we can still control the turrets. Which, that reminds me, we took off. Don't worry, there's going to be plenty of. Slow frustrations like this, as I have no idea how to play the game, but it'll come. It always does. And then the game will bend to my will, surely. How do we tractor beam our way in? I guess we don't have to. It feels pretty close, but... Man, these pathetic little um, thrusters of ours just don't feel right. I can barely avoid them. Anything here? Investigate missing freighters. Freighters taking a certain trade route have been disappearing. No one ever comes. We need someone brave enough to pose as one of our freighters. Investigate where and how our deliveries probably pirates, right? But they're offering a lot of money, so how can I say no? We'll take it. And then what I should probably do is see what I can get to help out. Now I was to wait, where's all my titanium? I thought I I thought I mined loads of titanium. Did I imagine that? Nothing to refine, and they've got a tax rate on that. Oh, correct me if I'm incorrect, but I thought I had grabbed loads of titanium. Where'd it go? Hang on, can I use this thing? Reconstruction kit. Bound to a specific craft. Okay, no, we use this after our ship gets destroyed. Top left, Jake. Oh, it was there. There it is. See, I've got all this titanium, 200 of it, but it didn't show up in my selling option, did it? Trade resources, sell to station. It says I have no titanium. Maybe that's their stock. So what if I... I don't seem to have an option here. Can I sell you some iron? Maybe I need to put in a number here. So what if I sell you 100 of this? Well, I don't make a lot. I only make about 1,000 credits. That seems like a waste of time. So I'm not playing your silly game. But I do need to generate energy. Surely the encyclopedia can give me all the information I need. Wherever that thing was, I've lost track of it. Under the player menu, encyclopedia, I need to learn about energy generation. Uh, increase power with solar panels, generators, and subsystems. Aha, so we can be a solar powered Jesus machine. Okay. I understand, although I don't know how to make a generator. Let's give it a go. I don't like this wimpy backside one bit. It needs to be... It needs to no longer be shriveled up. Maybe I can search for a generator. Uh, not giving me a whole lot there now, is it? What about a solar panel? An iron solar panel would work. Could work. We might as well put it on top of the... Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of not having uh, Jesus power here. I don't know if there's an easy way to just increase the size of something I've selected. Could I... modify what I've just grabbed there? No, I'm not seeing it. So, this is probably much too long a way to do something, but... I want my, I want my big Jesus block back. There's no two ways about it. 
Energy is there to be generated, and we shall generate it. Oh, ooh, that's not right. Also, these wimpy thrusters are not doing us justice. So we're going to build this, and then we're going to get generating proper. We shouldn't need thrusters on the back, after all. This is what the, uh, the Holy Cross is for. But now, let's see what we can do with solar panels. That's a big solar panel. That's uh, not really what I'm after, and it barely generates any energy at all. Hmm, I was hoping it would generate a whole lot more. That's funny, I thought it would be flatter. I was hoping to just put a flat one on the top here, but it's it's not flat at all. Can I change the shape of it? Easy, but fragile, creates energies. The block profits from surface area, not volume. In, in that case, could I not turn my underbelly into solar panels? Huzzah! We almost generate enough energy. Almost. But not quite. Maybe I could still destroy that crew block and put you here as well. There we go, we finally generate enough energy to keep the Jesus ship going. Somewhat. It does seem weird though, I, I would have imagined this would be a panel rather than anything else. Can I recommend the quas buttons to scale various axes to max? Oh, oh yes, you can. Right, that's what I was after. Brilliant. Then I certainly don't want all of this nonsense. Ah, oh, we're getting somewhere now. Right. Jesus, let's go. That's you. Can I put you here as well? Oh, it doesn't care that it intersects or bisects or some kind of sects. Oh, yeah. See, I like that. Overpopulated. Build more quarter rights. So that means we don't have to have you around anymore. I can get my crew block back. Oh, thank you so much for the quasd uh, information there. Uh, although I've already forgotten how I did it. Ah, uh, there we go, and there we go. How do I just reset you to a square, though? There we go. And we'll be getting that solar panel back. You know, could I mount the gun on top of the solar panel? Is such a thing even possible? The block must not touch a turret. Does that mean I can't put turrets on it? That would make sense, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. In that case, let's otate it. And then just block the view for all of our people. Right. Could put more here. Actually, I'm going to have to because this is insufficient. Looks like the game periodically autosaves. Flatten you out here and then fatten you up here and up here. That's probably just a little bit too big, isn't it? Nope, it's just right. Okay, aside from our pitch up and down hurting. It seems like the Jesus Mobile has enough of these solar panels strapped on to actually keep an energy surplus. God knows how we're going to cope with uh, having to actually use any of this, but it's a spunky wee ship, so it is. Now, what in the world do we do? It wants me to buy or sell, oh, specifically at a resource depot, so maybe that's different. 
from anything else. So, can I say hello to the resource depot? Oh yeah, of course, of course, it wanted me to try selling something, didn't it? Let's screw it, let's sell 50 titanium just to keep them happy. You must be docked. Oh, okay. How do I tractor beam in here? I don't know. Ah, there's some kind of dock over there, so maybe I can... I'm trying to think if there's a quick way to dock in without smashing into this. The game is still yelling at me for having an obscenely weak ship. Oh, no, well, that's certainly not what I want to do. All this autopilot build and exit into drone. I want to, I want to actually try selling to you. But I'm not seeing it. Instead of fellow players reeing at you for playing suboptimally, the game does it for them. What a service! I feel there's going to be a lot of suboptimal when I try and find these missing freighters. How in the world do I dock? There was something about a a way to tether into the docks, as I recall, but I'm not seeing it now. It's just just this automated thing, and for some reason I can't can't sell unless I'm docked. How in the world do I dock? Anybody know? Okay, I'd rather not ram it until it fits. That doesn't sound good. Oh, well, we've just gone and rammed it anyway, and that's worsened our relations with the Galactic Collective. Oh, and probably trying to mine them won't help either. Oh, hold F to tractor beam. There we- Oh, Christ! <laughs> like it's one of our solar panels. Alright, there we go. Now I can sell them tit some titanium for no good reason. Right, so you have to get close in and hold F to tractor beam in. Got you. Tractor beam has a longer range when you're between the indicated docking lights. Uh, let's see. Right, well, I need my... I need my broken off bit of Jesus power back. You were recently damaged and the game is paused. Unpause the game for one second to build. Oh, okay. How about now? That's a weird limitation, but it's probably to stop you from repairing during combat. So what do we have? Do we have you you back here? You cannot edit the damaged ship, repair it first. Repair it in building mode or to repair dock. Repair, repair, repair. Well this is build mode. Where is repair? There we go. Discard the destroyed block now, just fully repair it. Hey, we get it back. Swell. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Feels like the game doesn't punish you too hard so far. Should I go and tell them I'm ready to find that uh, freighter? Uh, every cargo ship we send that route disappears. No military ships found anything. Would you pretend to be a freighter? Find out what happened. Yeah, we can do that. You don't have enough free cargo space. Come back once you have enough free cargo space. How much free cargo space do I need to have? Um, any indication of it on my mission list here? 45 free cargo space, alright. Well, at least we kind of have space on the underbelly here to put that in, so cargo, cargo, cargo. All armor, crew quarters. Why don't we just type in cargo? Hey, cargo bay. Does it tell me how much cargo space I get? 
I'm unsure. Well, it says it's too small to be useful, which is off to a bad start. Is there a way to just um, make you normal? Perhaps we just need to make everything the smallest and then we can work from there. There we go, now we can just scale you up nicely. If I just slam you there, how much cargo space do I get? Quite a bit, actually. And with this weird gap that I can slot myself into things for. Alright, here we go. You must be docked at the station. Oh, not this again. Okay. Come on, Jesus, let's just inch our way towards it. Okay, it thinks we're docked. We'll give you some extra cargo, pretend to be a freighter, expect dire consequences if you don't return it. How dire are we talking? And what's the cargo? We gained 45 potatoes. Now how could that possibly be dire consequences for not returning them? And also, where do we go? I don't know why it keeps giving me these weird hints. I'm aware that I can buy and sell now. Ah, perhaps we need to go back to our map thing and see where it wants me to go. Out here. In that case, let's enter those into the navigation computer. We do have enough power generation these days, right? Or did I scupper that again? No, we just barely generate enough energy. Very good. Then let's go! <laughs> that burning cross looks so good. I'll see if I can't copy that design over for future ships, where they have more and bigger crosses. Whew. Feels this way very often with games, that initial learning curve of trying to figure out what in the world is going on. You're flying through clear space, hyperspace recharge speed increased, and we're still very weak. Can we really not have any shields? Shields would probably put a massive burden on our um, power generation, but I would still like to know if I could have some. This doesn't bring things down quite the way I'd expect to. Titanium was good for shields, right? None of these appear to be shielding for me. But I'd want a functional block, surely. Smart hull, blank hull, scaffolding, docking. Energy container? That's just for the batteries. Heavens knows how we get shields. Maybe that's a job for the encyclopedia. Tell me about shields. Shield status. Okay, shield booster. Shield booster improves, da, da 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 energy to shield. Shields themselves. Now night. Okay, so we need now. Uh, wait, is that where I'm meant to be going? I thought we jumped all the way. Oh, no, you gotta jump bit by bit. That sounds like it might take a while. And for some reason I can't hold space to jump. Do I have insufficient power or something? Oh god, battery charging. Uh, 1% charging battery, so I really can't thrust. We're gonna be at this for aeons if we can't. So 13%. Maybe you really need a whole lot of surplus. generators are better than solar panels, but I didn't see a generator. Let's have a look at that. Generator. Nothing. You left the holy light, so solar isn't great. Ah, of course. But then how do we get more power? Reactor? I'm not seeing anything like that. No, something here has to be uh, functional and help me out. Recorder, assembly, rocket launcher, base, framework, dampener, gyro array, thruster. 
Wait a second, I have thruster and directional thruster? Has more power than the omnidirectional, must be placed more carefully. Can only be used in two directions. Ooh. Might have been better than using whatever I'm using right now. We're in the iron category, well, I can see that. Are you telling me that titanium has uh, power? Ooh, there's a field generator. More than just the poor captain's shield creates an integrity frame. Titanium generator, highly delicate. Hyperspace sensitive technology requires a shipyard to be Oh man. <laughs> so although I want this, I can't actually build it, huh? Ah, that's a pain. I want that generator. Also, it needs a huge amount of it, which I don't have. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. So now I'm stuck in this system without the power to jump. With a battery that's incredibly slowly generating. I feel like I've just gone and trapped myself here. We're using 666 power. Uh, okay. Just sit still for a bit. Yeah, but it's really, really slowly charging, and we've got a lot of jumps to do. Unequipping your turret module will reduce your passive power gain. Oh, look at that thing go! We'll be out of here in no time. Think, Jake, what would Bender do if the plant express ran out of gas? Uh, he says he'd fill it up when he gets back. Okay, well at this rate it should only take us a few minutes to make that jump, and then wherever we get, we're not going to have the power to do damn near anything, and these potatoes are going to be spoiled. Sounds like a whole heap of not my problem. There's no way they'd give you a dangerous first mission in this game. Oh, can I jump now though? Yeah, there we go. If you forgot how something works or simply want to learn, check out the encyclopedia. Nice, but you don't pause the game for me, so it sounds dangerous. It seems even darker here. Where are we meant to go from here? Uh, this is where we're meant to go, right? Come on, Christ power. You don't need to string together jumps, you just misclicked when setting up the hyperspace jump and created two waypoints. Ah. Did seem weird that I have to jump bit to bit. Okay, we're at the place we need to be. Power is very low, so I should probably let it charge up before I re-equip my module. And thinking about it, maybe having mining guns instead of not mining guns is a bad idea, but I still don't know how to set up a hotkey for that. Let's not remind me of that again, please. Your target seems to be moving. Whoa, what? Why do we have to go again? Why did it set up a... Oh, I see, I see. This is the range you can go in one jump, then. Ah. Okay, then. Here we go. Ship menu, click on gun, hit desired hotkey. Ship menu, click on gun, hit desired hotkey. Click on gun, hit desired hotkey. I don't know, um. The number four. Probably not how that works at all. Ship menu, not building mode. Uh, Okay. Name, class, icon, this is for the demon ship. 
no idea. I don't plan on building a Borg cube. We'll see where the design school takes us. Not seeing how to... Oh, hang on. 0 to 9 is a sign group. And they are on 4. So does that mean that I could... Build more turrets, increase turret slots. Alright, go away. How do I then... Add the other guns, but only use them accordingly. Maybe that, maybe for that I need to go back to building mode. And then... Shove on the other two turrets. Not enough. Hmm, install turret subsystem to increase the amount of... Okay, but that thing actively uses up power, which is a shame. Alright, so what if I hit 4 now? Ah, it turns them on and off. Right, so that means that we could assign you to, say, 3, and then we can turn you on and off. Sweet, so now we can actually go between mining and shooting. Wonderful. Thanks a bunch, Blarg Honk. I'll enslave this game yet. I like what I see so far, though. Heck, I might even like it a lot. Not so keen on the, the whole thing I'm trying to get to constantly jumping away, though. At least it's right next to me now. Right, we gotta go to you. I think. I'm just going further, further away from where I want to be. But who knows, maybe I'll find all this loot. Hmm. Okay, well this time it hasn't moved yet again. You can always switch your home sector reconstruction site. Switch, uh, I don't care. Wait, it moved again! What in the world does it want me to do? I'm just chasing nothing at this point. Uh, maybe there's something worth uh, carving around here. Maybe with enough Jesus power we can... Hold on, what happens if we crash into planets? Probably nothing good. I'm not seeing asteroids with my name on them here. They want you to follow the shipping route. Ah, of course. Makes a ton of sense. Still no asteroids with my name on them? Okay. Get the Flanders mobile going. Well, I seem to recall playing uh, Star Citizen and crashing into a planet with decent enough results. If you want to live, you have only one option. I know which one that is. I'll kill you. The pirates that destroy those freighters. No, no, we're listening. You're going to have to become a pirate and fight for us. Well, why would I? We didn't want to become pirates. They attacked us, told us if we didn't fight for them. They would go after our families. Who did that? The pirates that have their base in the sector, da 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 da. They now have a giant army because they force everybody to fight for them instead of killing them. Why don't you turn on them? They're too strong. They're going to go out. Fine, I'll try to defeat them for you. Okay, uh, maybe writing isn't this game's strong point. Why am I going to fight them? Shouldn't I just go back, you know, do this smart thing, go back and explain this is why they have a home base here, go and nuke them for me. Hmm. Well, maybe if I had more than the power of faith and a single gun, I would take these guys on, but I have a funny feeling they would utterly crush me. Hold on, what do we have around here? Can I, can I check on them? Oh, it's a ship. And another ship. Even more ships. I wanted resources. Right, I'm going to do the clever thing and actually just go and tell the people back home, hey, there are problems, maybe you should deal with them and not just send out the crucifix ship. Just a pistol start, Jake. You can do it. Yeah, there's only 
Only more enemies in this map than all of Doom 2. I'd love to see somebody else do that Sunder map, though. And that's not even a mad cause bad thing, I would really like to see it. Energy is low, but faith is high. It's a quite beautiful game. But I'm looking forward to getting back to a place where I can build my, uh, my proper generator. Oh, wow, that hurts. <laughs> I like the blinking of the cross as well. Jesus is out of juice. Use these solar panels and desperately try to get some light. Suppose I should be grateful that the game isn't all that handholdy. Oh, there we go. There's some light. Aim the aim the renewable faith plates over there. Wouldn't the solar panels charge themselves off of the glow of the engines that we that we activate, thereby creating some kind of wonderful cycle of energy? I'm not big on this kind of thing, but it seems like an obvious you know, use those byproducts to power the ship itself. Not really isn't a no, Naffle, and you know that. Alright, Jinx, what's this? Uh, one, two, three, one, two. To here. One, two, three, one, two. Alright. A jump, a jump, and a jump. And then we're back to base. And then we just go and get my dad to kill their dad. It's like we're back in the playground. For starters, your panels aren't facing the engines, so we make the panels look at the engines, right? Don't give us non-problems. as I like this ship. <laughs> it is slow going here. And I put it all down to not having my brilliant titanium generator. Perhaps the game was hinting pretty heavily at go and get some titanium. It's great early on. And I thought getting 200 would be fine, but no, I needed thousands of it. So perhaps that's the hint. Go and mine out the early game system. Also, why am I hemorrhaging money? paying all my people right now. Now the credits seem fine. Oh, no, I need a bit more Jesus juice before we go forward. <laughs> my dad will kill your dad. So from Glasgow. I'm not from Glasgow. I've only been in Glasgow once. Went there for a concert. It was Avenge Sevenfold. And that was... That was a while ago. Strange, was that maybe 14 years ago? I'm not big on concerts. I think that remains the only concert I've been to. Make a new ship, one that looks like a DDR mat. A mat wouldn't look that imposing. We could certainly put a mat design on it, but it would be nice to just be a big DDR arrow. In fact, I'm really liking the spaceship designy stuff. Don't invest all your resources. You will lose it. But what if I play well enough not to? Oh, Christ, the adventure is back. Pleasure to meet again. Sorry about your ship. Operating on your own. Big faction. Work together. You seem like someone who gets back up whenever they're beaten down. Ugh, I take a lot of beatings, that's for sure. I'm on a research mission to find out where the Sotan... I don't know anything about Sotan. Scourge of the galaxy, attacking ships and stations, any way to stop them. I don't really take orders, Alvath. I can tell you're a brand new captain. Here, have this subsystem. Scanners, mass, distant sectors, hidden sectors. Oh, that might be good to find myself some more resources. Uh, thank you. Would have acted differently if I said I'd agree to him? Right. 
First off, we'll go and report about that uh, nasty things going on. Where's my options stuff here? It still wants me to find... Oh, maybe I was meant to find the base first and then report back about it. Well, screw it. These people are still going to hear about it. And then I'm going to get enough titanium to have a proper engine. Now blast off with the power of faith. I don't have particularly good other thrusters, do I? So let's hope this works fine. What was that? Oh, right. Out of energy. We really need more energy. Apparently we're using more than we produce, but how can that be? We generate a lot more than we require. Actually, why did the required energy just go way down? Heavens knows. There's no Discord here. Ah. How will we organize all the streams? In the old-fashioned way. Okay, friends, I know everything we need to know now. Do I tractor beam in? You gonna let me tractor beam in? Is this even the place I was thinking of earlier? I don't think it is. Three drills. Three drills for 300,000? Where does one find drills? Do I have drills? I don't have drills. I do, however, have a, another subsystem that he gave me. The revealing one. But it uses a lot of megawatts, which I certainly don't have. Okay, ignoring that place, where was the... Is that the shipyard that I was at to begin with? Or was that the shipyard? Resource depot? Or shipyard? I think it was a resource depot. That sounds about right. Before then, though, it couldn't hurt to actually get some blessed resources. You've still got your mining lasers turned on, drinking that power gain. I thought I took those off. Yeah, I took the subsystem out, although now that you mention it, I would like that subsystem back in. Is that how it's working, actually? No, I'm not sure. Too much that I don't know. Thank you, Jesus Power. I feel like I'm melting this considerably faster than we did before. Built free iron is free iron. Of course. Is it actively using up my power to have them on, though? Let's find out. Let's blast through our power a bit. And then, let's see how it uh, goes back up. Yeah, it's draining because we're counter-thrusting, and then we'll come to a full and complete stop. Right about now. 78, 9, 10, 11. And now with them on, I don't think that's making any difference. Whether they're on or off. Could be dead wrong, though. Wouldn't be the first time. I need 18,000 titanium quickly. If you can deliver it next 30 minutes, we'll pay you handsomely, says the depot. I certainly don't have that, and you know it. Can I at least interact with you? Oh man, maybe I was meant to go and actually see where the pirate's base was before coming back and telling on them. Massive power drain just from having them equipped. Well, what I do know is that I want a bunch of titanium so that I can get a proper generator. Because this stuff is burning through my power. That way I can jump back to the pirates and discover their base and then hopefully just run away and tell on them. Why should I have to kill them all? I'm clearly not equipped for it. 
surprised there was no power generator made of iron. Maybe there is, and I wasn't noticing it. What was it called again? Turret location, dock, scaffold, torpedo storage. It's just called a titanium generator. But when I punched in generator, it's only titanium that comes up. That is so sad. Well, iron is all well and good, but it doesn't really sell for much. I wonder if there's a limit to how many iron and titanium and things we can hold on to then. It doesn't seem to be taking up space inside our cargo hold, at least as far as I can tell. This alert thing here just tells me that I'm weak. I do worry that if I just go to that um, that base that we saw earlier, though, they're just going to destroy me. And whilst we do have a reconstruction kit, I don't know how to just blow that so easily. Keeping me a bit at a loss for what to do at this point. How about you? No, you're not titanium. The thing is, I need it ton of titanium. What was it? Uh, a thousand? Well, no, maybe if I just build a very small generator it'll be fine. So, what was it again? Um, you there. If we just have a teeny tiny one. There we go. Teeny tiny generator and we'll just stuff it under here. Actually, couldn't I change your shape in that regard to be like so? Then we have a bit of power coming out there at the bottom. Maybe another one? Well, no, I don't have the... Uh, don't have what I need for that, but if we just make you a bit smaller. There we go. How's that for power gen? Holy moly, look, it gives us so much more now. Right, so titanium, certainly the way forward. Jesus can handle this now. Which probably means we could happily plug in some of our extras. Prophet! I hope your recent experiences with pirates haven't put you off traveling across the galaxy. Peaceful ways. Trading. Buy and sell goods. Same prices. Supply and demand. Try it by buying some energy cells. Common good. Handy. Travel hub. Yeah, I'll consider it. Trading. Factory. Strategic mode. That does sound good. But I want to deal with this whole pirate nonsense. What about that extra module that I that I got? That allows me to have more, and then there's whatever this thing does. Is there a way to check my overall power situation, though? Yeah, the power situation is not good with just that. Also, those solar panels aren't going to do me a world of good as they are. So, one of those sadly has to go. Probably the turret one. It only gives one extra turret slot after all. Hmm. Shows ships with mass as yellow blips on the map. But how far out? There's a bunch of pirates over there. What are the odds this critical part in the center of mass would ever get hit or collided upon? That is pretty well shielded on most sides. Although it wouldn't surprise me if they are a little bit vulnerable. But I'm not planning on getting shot at, surely? Where in the world is titanium? Maybe it's not something that's easily found and it just gave you that bit at the start for the purpose of... Um, of tutorializing. Wanted, dead, not alive. Look for a bounty hunter. 
Multiple crimes, more details. <laughs> I'm not confident in being able to kill things for the time being. Maybe I should head back now that we have all this extra power. At least we can discover the pirate, uh, pirate base and then tell someone on them, if it even works that way. I was hoping I could come back and just tell the people straight away, hey, the pirate base is over here. Crew payment. Oh yeah, all those potatoes, which I said we're not allowed to, to lose. What we need is bigger cross thrusters so we can run fa Yeah, running might not be the worst idea in all this. Right, tell you what, let's, um... Where was it? This was a place, right? Let's go and have a word with them and see if that advances it at all. And let's turn off that subsystem module because it's just eating our power. But with this, we should be able to go without having to constantly wait around. That's not chewing through our power quite as badly as it used to. Maybe we should feel more confident in the... Oh, look how fast that's going up. Five, six, seven, eight. Great. Keep on moving. I don't know if the game pauses on the map mode or not. Crew members on your ship who don't work in specific field want to get paid. <laughs> How dare they? We're not running a charity here. Uh, there we go. Don't let me down! Whew. Now it feels like we're still moving, or it sounds like it at least. Three along, two down, three along, two down. Six ships of the Galactic Collective of Lofa. Were those the pirates that we ran into earlier? Possibly. Oh, you know it, Tandy. certainly want to make sure I have plenty of power wherever I jump into the pirate home. And maybe, just maybe, it would be prudent to make sure that we have the actual guns and not the mining drills operational going in here. So where's that reliable double chain gun of mine? Oh, they can be put on the solar panels, but I wonder if putting it there does reduce power generation. Well, it shouldn't matter that much. Okay, good. Not enough slots for armed turrets. Install turret. Da -da 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 -da. No, we're good on that regard, I'm sure. Still a few jumps to go. Surely just looking at the cross power of ours, nobody would want to be shooting against us. Playing with friends, you can form an alliance together. I wonder how well suited this game is for playing together, or if it's more of a PvP kind of game. Oh, it's like PvE. <laughs> Over PvP. It's a shame that chess hasn't been transformed into a PvE experience, although perhaps it has. The Crescent ships will shoot at us. Surely the Crescent ships are not quite as aerodynamic as a glorious cross. Right, what are you doing here? I heard you're forcing innocent freighters to fight for you. I will put a stop to- I don't think I will. I have a funny feeling things are going to go very badly for you here. I wonder if I could like, armor up or something at this point. Or rather, even at this point. You cannot build while enemies are even nearby. Okay, well this is going to go terribly. At least we have plenty of power. Can I add modules during this time? Turret control... 
All round turret controls add slots. But if it only adds slots, that's not much good for me. Who are my enemies? Are you my enemy? Neutral at war, firepower 1.9, uh, 19.7 Omicrons. Do I have a related number to that? I have 55 Omicrons. Alright, well, you're probably going to die then. Maybe. His hull's bigger than mine. Alright, let's power of Christ compel our way around. Oh, that's not working out so well for us, is it? Wonder how much I have to lead my shots. Oh, you are going nowhere, my friend. Die! I think he's dead now. Why is he still shooting at me? Oh, he's got friends. He's got a lot of friends. There was more than just one. Alright then, we need to ski diddly daddle. I think. Uh, is he, maybe they're not chasing me now. Uh, they appear to be coming this way. Ooh, yay. Now, do they chase me or not? Five ships of pirates. Ooh, that's not very good. New mission, pirate raid. Improve your ship to prepare for a fight. Uh, okay, what are you trying to tell me? Pirate trouble? I've been told you met some pirates, not surprised. Infested. Factions happy, defeat them. I've attached some instructions on how to boost your ship's strength as soon as it's ready for a fight. Test it. Pirates, ships, shot to pieces, perfect target. Mm -hmm. Build enough integrity to reach a coverage of over 90% with integrity field generated. But I need titanium for that and I haven't found it. Repair it in build mode. How much to repair my thing? Oh god, it costs titanium to repair now. How could it cost titanium? My not titanium bits are fine. Mm. Ignore that nonsense about upgrading the ship. Instead, excommunicate your enemies. I wonder if I can do anything about that other mission. Go to sector 395154. 395154. Oh, it wants me to go back and attack them. No, why can't I just say, hey, there's a problem over there? I wasn't sign. I didn't sign up to go and deal with all of that crap. Oh, my, oh, my. Okay, what's the man to do from here? I don't know, do we just run all the way back? I have no clue. I need to go back for repairs, and I don't know of another place to... Um, to get it nearby. Something about the better part of Valor, but I really could have done with some more titanium. Ah, hang on. I picked up something for that. If we use our revealer... Deep scan range plus two. Shows sectors with mass as yellow blips. Well, that's me, that's them, and then not seeing a lot of mass around here, but maybe I just need to explore a bit for that. Wouldn't mind some mass. We head out this way then. Feeling a bit banged up though. If I run into pirates, that could be the end of Jesus' ship. You have their potatoes, they basically own you now. Potato delivery is a more dangerous job than I thought. Uh, oh, hello. What 
is that? Doesn't look natural. There's no delicious asteroids with my name on them here. What if we go closer? Well, how much closer can we get? Is it even an, an object? I don't feel like I'm getting any closer to it, though. Uh, where'd my power go? Ah, of course now it charges abysmally slowly because I'm using all of the power on that module. That's, uh... I didn't think power generation would be such a big deal already, but maybe I just haven't designed my ship as good as good can be. It's okay, though. We just need to have faith. It's the one thing we do have. You can always try to raise funds for more arms and armor on the ship. It worked for Cypher. Yeah, it would be nice to raise some funds and make my ship more of a killing machine. We're going more Old Testament with this thing. Even so, though, getting all that dosh. I was told to do trading, but I haven't really noticed anything that I can reasonably pick up for uh, for selling around. Asteroids seem good, as long as I can find some decent asteroids. That iron maybe isn't so great, and I want the titanium for building myself up. I need that power generator. Again, more nothing out here. Just keep crawling our way back. Maybe these are nice people energy signals. Let's go and cross thighs. Uh, why am I not jumping? There we go. Just took a bit to calculate. Some legendary weapons have secret properties that aren't immediately visible. Try them out. Even though we haven't used it for much, I am really liking the whole build your own ship aspect. I have a feeling there's a lot of basics I need to pick up on this game. It's fine though. It's uh, it's drawing me in, and that doesn't often happen with the space games. Even though I feel completely tethered to pretty much the start. Hello! Did someone say asteroids? Perhaps titanium asteroids? I don't know if they said that, but I wanted to hear that. I mean, sure, there's plenty of iron, but I'm not here for iron, I'm here for titanium. I watched him tear apart those pirates with salvaging turrets, rip their shield, uh, ships to shreds. That's what I call savage salvage. Good for you. Right, renter on two Jesus, where's the titanium? Or do you need to go to certain places for titanium? Or is it important to get lots of iron? Many questions, and I don't have the answers. What if I went and said hello to these people? Here's the light miner scatter. Make it quick. Anything interesting here? One of the traveling equipment traders a while ago, a strange alien artifact. Maybe it's those weird Scourge of the Galaxy things. Price is way too expensive. What else? Where's your home? Uh, did that tell me something? Or did he say that he's from here? Galactic Collective of Lofa. Yeah, that's what he says. Lofa Prime. 405177? No, that's not that. So did we learn about that other thing? 405177. Maybe I should uh, make a note that there is a thing here. Loaf of Prime? 405177 is Loaf of Prime. 
Hmm. That is kind of cool. If that's something you have to make note of yourself in the um, on the map, reminds me of Etrurian Odyssey. Unfortunately for Jake, having sharp eyes is necessary for the good asteroids. Oh no! Surely there's some kind of module that can help me with that. It looks pretty ideal. So many asteroids, but. Maybe titanium only normally spawns at a certain location. I did recall hearing a thing about the good stuff is closer to the center of the map, but so too is all the danger. And faith alone won't get me through all this danger, I don't think. Make it quick. Give me all your cargo now! <laughs> Botan is a smuggler. I wish I could ditch these potatoes. Why does it say Holy Testament 2 in the top left? That feels all too fitting right now. Dang, all these iron asteroids. I need titanium and I need it badly. Although, maybe what I should do is switch out my guns for not guns. This seems a bit of a pain. There's surely a better way to do this than having to manually go and switch out for my mining lasers each time. But without the module, I can't just equip the mining lasers and the not mining lasers. Can't just rush the center. You're gated to within one ore of your current gun's tier. Uh, the closer you get to the center of the galaxy, the better tier ore you find. Center is zero, zero. Yeah, that just sounds like asking for trouble, though. I do appreciate having thousands upon thousands of ore, but without power generation, there's a fat lot and not much I can do with it. Even if I made a big bulky ship, it couldn't go anywhere. So maybe that's the top priority early on, find titanium. With power generation, I can have a massive bulky ship, then I can take the hits whilst I deal the damage with my guns, which do seem to be quite good. Therein lies the question, where's the titanium? You don't need to get much closer to the center to get more titanium. Okay. Don't have a good way of finding it, though. I'm going to carve this guy up real nice, and then... I do need repairs. Hmm. Come to me. Help me out, Goka. This ain't no weekly one-shot. I'm interested in how this can be automated. That's probably far away. Hello? Sharp eyes, you say? Alright, activate Jesus' power. Oh, oh god. Maybe, maybe not that much Jesus power. Mayday, under attack, pirates, help. I don't know, last time I tried to help someone with pirates, I lost my ship. At least with this titanium I can fix my ship. But maybe fixing with titanium is a bad idea compared to just fixing with, um... I assume it costs money at a regular place. Oh my, now this is an actual amount of titanium. I like this. <laughs> this is some real wooden pick sack, uh, wooden pickaxe level stuff here. taste the power generation from here. We may do with 150 and now we almost have a thousand. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I feel like a Age of Empires 2 priest, except instead of Wololo, it's just brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
so we go back to the shipyard place, or we go to the new one that we were told about. Might be nice to add that to our to our map. Get ourselves fixed up with some proper power generation, a bit of shields. That way we can constantly have the guns available, and then we just rip and tear. A bit of a slow start, I'm sure, but whatever works. Mm, 2,000 titanium. That guy that was desperate for 18,000 doesn't seem quite so mad anymore. Nope, actually, seems like there's a bunch here. Yeah, more titanium than I thought. Now, uh, that's not titanium. Are these big, derpy looking, no, uh, no uh, resource asteroids worth anything ever? Heavens knows. Near the bright blue nebula, is it? Well, I mean, that's a bright blue looking nebula. Maybe I blasted so far that uh, it's beyond our. Hello! Go, my cross, go! <laughs> I, I love how awkwardly it moves around just to get into position. Oh my. I can't believe some people were warning me that this game would not be any fun. Killjoys, clearly. If I can have fun doing the farming elements of Harvest Moon and Rune Factory, I can certainly have fun doing this. I'm a physics guy. Shouldn't the initial amount of momentum be enough to bring us a long way? Comets and meteorites do not slow down on their own, or do they? That's beyond my expertise. Far beyond my expertise. Alright, surely that's enough titanium for anything one could... Oh, Christ! Pirates are here? That's all the more reason to ski bloody daddle. Okay, so it seems like that's a counter to just hanging around and farming an area forever. Or at least without the means to defend yourself. And I don't feel like losing all the wonderful titanium that I've gotten. Oh, it needs to cool off, huh? There we go. Oh, no, no, energy too low. How can this be? I don't even have any of uh, my modules in. Charge faster, I've got places to be. A bigger and better and even more holy ship to make. So I damaged my relations earlier. I want to look a bit more into that. Building mode is expensive. Getting repairs done at a repair dock or shipyard is much cheaper. Okay, let's keep that in mind as well. I might have just blown that iron and titanium for no good reason earlier. Well, of course it was a good reason if I'd gotten ganked. I would have liked to have enough hull integrity to get out of there. At least our ship goes pretty fast. Feels like a bishop covering half the board. To crush an Austrian. Refined ores and scrap metal. Well, I've not even found that, so you go away. I wonder if there's titanium in the system, or if it only just gave us that initial piece to say, hey, this is how it works. Loads of iron, enough titanium. Can I just ignore the distress signal? Well, who knows? Maybe it's not that far away, right? We could go there after we tune ourselves up something fierce. Where do we do the tuning up again? Repair dock, which is also another giant cross. Equipment dock. Uh, mining place. A gate of sorts. Where am I meant to be going here anyway? Why did I come here? Maybe the shipyard is the place to go. Oh, crikey, I don't even know what I did there. Let's go and say hi. Is that really where I want to go? Strength, I don't know anymore. If 
Equipment dock, repair dock, resource depot. I think the resource depot is where I started out at. But we'll see what the shipyard can do for us. Friendly looking place here. Keep my eyes open for any more delicious bits of titanium, but I'd be very surprised if it's in this system naturally. Yeah, maybe it is. And maybe if I'd just gotten it nice and early, I wouldn't have had these problems with power generation. Nice sound effect. Really feels like we're putting in the beans. We cannot allow just anyone to come aboard. Uh, you'll allow me, right? This doesn't feel like the right place. So how does one easily tether their way aboard? Because last time I tried to tether, things went miserably. Like, it's come close, and then... Um... I don't know, maybe you just meant to go real close. And then it kind of shows docked. Repair dock? I don't want to repair your dock. Trade goods? Dangerous. You might get in trouble with someone inspecting your cargo if you bring in Tesla coils. Ah, that's right. One of the things, the introduction to um, to trading told us to try buying stuff here, right? Make sure you have 100 cargo space. Oh, God. Then the first thing I need to do is fix up my, sta uh, my ship. But maybe I can do that here. Maybe I can do that. Can I build you? Yes, I can. Splendid. Sadly, I can't do anything about these blessed potatoes. So what are we going to do? Well, can I get rid of my initial block? Smart hull, vanilla block, windows, small collision, da 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 da. You cannot delete the root block of the plan. Safe mode. Could I replace it? with, say, a, an almighty generator? Uh, what was it? Transform? There we go! There we go, there we go! Some actual gigawatts coming out. Which means we could probably get rid of you and you. And then if we get rid of you, then that's a big problem because of all the... Um, Hopefully I didn't just eject my potatoes with that. So if I put in another cargo space, hopefully they'll still be around. Get rid of generator. Get ourselves a... Crikey, where's the cargo bay? Here's the cargo bay. If I bring you up here and then we just... Make you significantly lo... And I don't like the way it brings it out on both sides. Maybe there's a way to do it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll live. There you go. Now I have considerably more cargo space, and hopefully I didn't lose my potatoes. Really, hopefully I didn't lose those potatoes. How much storage space do I have? Only 31? Seems oddly small. Didn't I have more earlier? There you go, now I've got 63 cargo hold, but that's strange. Oh, I'm sure it's fine, for its own reasons. Now, 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 now. Deceleration and all that is all sorts of off because I don't have thrusters. Your cargo bays are clipping, Jake. Well, one of them's certainly clipping. Uh, whoops, oh god, my potatoes. My other stuff. What did I just lose there? Hopefully not my potatoes. But what else did I throw away there? Right, what am I trying to do? Yeah, see so you clipping in there, so perhaps I'm just meant to... See, I, I don't want to delete all the time. What I want to do is move the object that I have grabbed here, but I don't think that's possible. Or is it? Uh, maybe so, maybe no. 
goes up just a little too much, even if I... Oh, seems okay-ish, but at the same time not. There we go, that still gives me the cargo hold that I need. But we need some different directional thrusting. Could I not just have my directional thrusters be considerably flatter? For example, if I really want to go up or down, could I not put you on here? Right on the sides? Maybe. Maybe. I have a feeling these cool looking side blocks here aren't uh, aren't being so good for me. So perhaps I need to get rid of you and you and you and you. And then we just need some more nice big blocks, which might be all the more reason to get ourselves a field generator. The poor captain's shield. Improves the strength of blocks inside. Blocks inside the field take 25% damage. Don't break as easily. Creates a protective field for blocks. Blocks inside the field. So I'm assuming it's just going to make one. Oh, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Stable field. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that now. Looks to me like having a square design would help with the everything here, but still. How, how bulky do we want these things to be? Don't have a good feel for this kind of stuff. So perhaps we just need to make it large enough like so. Crunch. Still requires a fair bit of energy. Now, I don't know if multiples of these stack. I'm going to assume they do, so maybe I should get rid of you and just make it considerably larger. Maybe even just make it a full square. Don't know. But there we go. Surely those two things together will give me a decent bit of uh, bit of shielding. Extend it forward. It seems to keep the whole thing covered. I'm assuming that's that's what that blue glow means. Okay, now we still need some directional thrusting. So directional thrust and 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 and. Well, that's certainly not what I want to be doing. Fatten you up a bit, but slim you down. And that way you can thrust that way and that way. There's no deceleration on this thing whatsoever. But I still want to be able to... Go up, see downsies. I have a feeling all these solar panels could be done away with, right? They barely give me any power whatsoever. And they're just taking up good spaces for other things. And it seems like the titanium generator thing's just gonna work on its own, uh, its own magical way. So what if we otate you like so? Couldn't I have it like so? That does me upsie downsie is quite nice. Which could be useful. Yeah, I can see there's something wrong with you. Good thing game is paused when we do this. Holy moly, if I had to be doing this on a timer. I feel all sorts of awkward. And now perhaps we should just have a big one on the front so that we can't go skeeting off. Uh, wait, I thought time was paused when we were building the ship. What was that alert? Your ship's plan? Oh, it was just auto-saving. Thank you. Alright. What can be improved here? Maybe I can get rid of you. You're not doing the world that much of a favour. And you are poorly positioned. 
This chip is still very weak. Arm it better, add shields, or extend it. So I suppose my hull isn't looking that amazing. So perhaps the best thing to do is add some proper shielding onto you. Fatten out the cross a bit, perhaps. So, iron armor. There we go, armor up the holy cross. And why has that got to be so awkward like so? Can the armor clip into itself and be okay like that? Now what's the warning? Okay, it's saying that we're not incredibly weak, it's just saying that we're regular kinds of weak. Yaw rotation, what in the world? Does that mean that we don't have enough uh, bits on the side here? Because I can put another one there and there, that's no big deal. <laughs> I definitely need to go to some kind of ship design 101 for this. But okay, aside from the fact that it claims that we're very weak, which we probably are, this is surely A-OK. -okay. Gyroscopes are great for rotation. What in the world is this? Gyros can turn your ship to any direction. Fragile. Strength increases with better materials. Well, I have titanium. Why not just invest more in titanium stuff? Titanium solar panels. Titanium glows. Still wondering if we would do well to just have more shield generation. I mean, heavens knows we have tons of energy. Not using it seems like a bad idea. Hmm. Although it only reduces incoming damage, it's not something that... Um... Oh, no, it reduces it to 25%. That seems pretty good. But if that's the case, shouldn't you just make one as small as possible? I'm not sure I understand how it works, but in time I'm sure I will. Torpedo launcher. What I want is more gun, though. I'd love to have more gun. Maybe that's why I need to go to somewhere that can deal in gun. Anyway, we have something that looks like a ship here. So let's just say, huzzah, it's done. Where are all those bits that flew away, though? Like, what is that? Denied for you. What is it? Some items can't be picked up by you immediately when you're the one who dropped them. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, but what is it? I hope it's not my potatoes. I'm not seeing potatoes in my inventory here. Oh wow, okay, so when I lost about 20 relations, it was absolutely nothing. Very cool. And it looks like we can get friendly with pirates. I like the sound of that. Okay, you're right though, I am missing my guns. It still bothers me that I can't have my... Uh, all of my turrets active at once. Now, what are these ones? My mining lasers, right? So if I have both my mining lasers, I can't also have my chain guns going. Well, I can have one of them going. I guess that'll have to do. Hopefully they don't shoot each other. And they lost their hotkeys, did they? Yeah, they did. Seems bothersome to have to turn that uh, to go into that menu just to equip them, even if I don't want them on or off. Forward cross for more gun space. <laughs> well, you mean a cross on the front as well? That'd be kind of funny. But it's not a space thing, it's a module thing. Although now, with, now that I have more power generation, there's not much stopping me from putting in my subsystem. Hell, both of my subsystems, why not? How's that for the uh, power... 
we still generate. Maybe not tons of it. Nine seconds. I want my space tatties back, okay? Thankfully no one's stolen them. It's weird that they got ejected, though. Assuming that that's what they are. Can I have them back? Okay, there we go. Uh-oh, that was not all my potatoes. Where are the rest of my tatties? How do we even see our current cargo hold? Ship menu, cargo. Where are the rest of the tatties? Have they been stolen? Hopefully not. Because they said it would be very bad if I lost them. potatoes. My space potatoes. Where'd they go? Can't believe someone would steal Jesus' potatoes. What a disaster. Cooked by solar radiation. I feel like I didn't use anywhere near as much titanium. We got tons of the stuff and I didn't I didn't use enough of it. Maybe I should just give myself more power generation for the hell of it. Also, tractor beam. This time not destroying me. Maybe I'm gonna need to buy some potatoes. Do you do you sell potatoes? They do not sell potatoes. That that's a damn shame. Increase your ship's size and processing power of functional blocks until it supports at least four subsystems. Add enough offensive turrets to reach a maximum firepower of 60 Omicron DPS. That's hefty. Uh, maybe we shouldn't take, a, take on more jobs until we deal with that. Still though, you think the ship isn't big enough? Four subsystems. Just how much, just how much bigger do we have to make this thing? Looks pretty hefty to me. But then it did say that games could be uh, ships could be miles long. All right then, if that's how we're meant to be cooking, then let's put you in here, fatten you up. Is that the right size? That looks fat enough. Make you taller. Oh wow, that that was hefty on titanium cost. But is there something about size in that case, then? There we go, that gives us the 60 ohm, but what about size? They said size enough for four subsystems. I can't believe I lost the tatties. Processing power of 800 or 320 required to unlock. I don't know what that means. Do I just need to keep making it bigger? I mean, don't get me wrong, I can I can go bigger. Especially if we add more iron armor to the fray. Uh, deceleration hurts, but I'm sure that's fine. Probably just a whole mass thing. Your brake thrust is poor. Build more thrusters. Dampeners. D dampeners, you say? Although, good point. I could have used titanium instead. What if we got rid of you and then we went to titanium armor and did the same thing? Still hurting deceleration, but if I got rid of, oh, got rid of you and you and just did the same thing with titanium? It seems okay. At least it's not complaining at me. But we still don't support all these things. The heck is processing power? Enlarge your ship with functional blocks for more processing power. We have 128 and we need a staggering 320. That's pretty huge. Well, this is the game's own advice, so I should probably take it kind of useful blocks you want me to have. 
I tell you, was complaining about my lack of uh, lack of ability to slow down. So maybe I should. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's the button here? There we go. There we go. Is that for a decelerator? More cargo space. Could put in more cargo space. Hey, we could uh, certainly have the cross with more cargo space. Our titanium cargo bay is expensive. Just trying to think of how to make it out of a nice light material. Probably blocks my D thruster there though, doesn't it? But I've already got a bigger thruster, so let's just shrink you down, fatten you out. Slam you there. No, maybe not. Uh, where's that? Where's the stat for how much thinking this thing can do? Because I'm sorely running out. Wait, where'd my guns go? Didn't I have a couple of extra guns here? Must got torn off when I took that other part off. Maybe I should ignore this pirate raid um, missiony stuff. He's clearly he's clearly lost it. So let's uncheck that. Although we are meant to be going and fighting some pirates here on this missing freighter stuff. Oh, and I never got that hundred cargo space. Okay, back to the drawing board. We'll get this figured out eventually. Current cargo hold is... Uh, where is it again? Cargo hold of 800 and... Uh, 80... Yeah, 81.4. So sadly, the other one's going to have to be made of iron cargo bay. Gonna slam it on the side here. Don't want to exceed the cross, I'd hate to not look right. Is that a bit much? A hundred, right? So Put you in here as well, some way, somehow. There we go. Jesus' own. We've got cargo. We've got other stats that seem fine to me. Now, what was he telling us to do? The rules of the trade. Buy a hundred energy cells. But what about the potatoes? <laughs> I think the potatoes are just long gone. Energy cells. They don't sell energy cells. Containers and tubes, but not cells. And it was cells we're meant to be doing in, right? Hmm. Okay, never mind this then. JJ Nitro's laying into my design here. Couldn't even design a good name. Right, let's head on over here. And rather nicely, we're not chewing into our power reserves horribly with that. Bless these generators. Uh, what is it to free move the camera? Uh, it's not that, that's for sure. How do I move the camera without moving the whole ship? And since we actually have all of our modules in, why, am I, why do I not have all my guns on? Oh, I do, I just don't see them very well. And I need to make sure they're all set on the hot key thing. Three, three, four, four. So I can turn off that and just have guns going, or turn that and just go with the mining. Swell. Now, easy does it. Power of Christ compels me to dock correctly. 
Tractor beam didn't destroy me this time. You also don't have energy cells. What is this? Can I refine all my stuff? What did I get out of that? A tiny bit of titanium and iron. So that's how smelting works. And they take a fee, but I don't even think they could charge me on that. Okay. I guess we're going to try killing things now. I really would like some more guns, but I don't know who here sells guns. Repair dock. Equip equipment dock. Now that sounds about right. I'll see if I can't up myself to four guns and absolutely crush those pirates. I sure hope those generators don't need fuel. I'm counting on that at least. Engage ramming speed. Disengage ramming speed. What's it yelling at me with now? Because that sure looks like a low fuel warning. Probably not important. You can remove permanently installed upgrades without breaking them here. But would I would I even want to? Also, what permanently installed upgrades? I make way more energy than I use up here, even so. Seems like going real fast has its costs. So what do you guys do? I'm still not seeing energy cells. Ammunition, rockets, tools... Laser heads. Also fuel. Do I need fuel? Trading goods... Dock... Should I worry about fuel? I haven't noticed anything talking about fuel so far. The ship has a ship. No complaints here. Yeah, I reckon we're running on space magic. <laughs> my, my only 12 potatoes. Hurts. How much are they going to yell at me for not having the potatoes? Also, where can I find more potatoes? Krivens, this is some expensive stuff. Message transmitters, labels. Maps seem very handy. A map of this area. Can be activated by the player. Unveils a quadrant of the faction's territory. Mm, that's a risky amount of money to spend. Do you have any turrets for me? A triple chain gun exceptional turret for good money. Well, I would like that, but I certainly can't afford it, so... Okay, I have no real basis as to how good these guns are. Can I build guns? Or do I have to buy them? Build mode, turrets... Turret design, installers, favorites. Oh, hang on, I already have a bunch of extra guns, don't I? Yes, I do. So what if I took off my mining lasers? I don't know where I got these guns, but... Standard chain gun? Other standard chain gun? Not enough slots for armed turrets. Huh. I thought I had uh, another slot for these, but clearly not. Where do we see my total number of slots? Six out of a thousand slots. Oh, oh no, that's inventory slots. What about the amount of guns I think can have? It requires another gunner, but that should be okay. Surely. Not enough crew. But I have crew. I would have thought I'd have crew. Auto assign didn't do it, probably because we hadn't finished off with the ship. Okay, so three guns. Seems reasonable. On the right middle, the stats armed and unarmed. Right middle, ah, I see armed. Unarmed turret, defensive turret. 
Seems weird that we can't add the mining lasers, but I suppose mining lasers... Oh, well, we can. But we can't. Not enough slots for civilian turrets. Install turret subsystems to increase the number of... Okay. I don't get it, though. I can't have another gun. But I can have that. But maybe it's an arbitrary turret. Yeah, okay, there we go. We have arbitrary turrets, which are different. It's all coming together now, I think. Anyway, let's go and take on those pirates, and if it all goes Pete Tong, at least we have a reconstruction thing of a jigger, so we can get our ship back. Advanced pieces, oh, da, 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 da. that's fine by me. Now let's go and... Oh, I wonder if that distri uh, distress could go... No, it's long gone. Right! Five pirate ships. Let's go and mince them. Or die trying, which seems much more likely. something nice along the way then all the better. Calculate the jump route, lets me get some power back and then... <laughs> They'll look at me and think I'm still the same cross ship as before but no. Now I carry slightly more firepower and I'm repaired and probably have more experience too. I like my ship. I'll hand it to the game when it just needs to load an empty system. It's pretty quick at it. But maybe that's to be expected. Hopefully I'll be able to get some upgrades that allow me to jump considerably further at one go. Two more jumps and we're there. So we do this jump, then we make sure we're absolutely capped on goods. Uh, not goods, but power. Tell you what we're not capped on are those potatoes. Oh, they're going to be so mad at me for ejecting a bunch of their potatoes. Come on, get that power up. And then get that power down. Worst case scenario, you kill a, kill a couple, warp out, and come back again. Now, that would be pretty worst. But surely with these shields that we have, we can take a bit of a beating. Oh wait, no, that still didn't get me there. I need to do one more jump. Now, fine by me. Oh, that ejection was totally not my fault. It ejects them if you remove your cargo space whilst designing your ship. But even if you bring that cargo space back while still in the design process, it keeps them ejected. And then you can't pick them up for two minutes? Oh, I was robbed. Robbed of my potato. Estonians worldwide feel for me. Right, who wants some? You're the closest bugger. Come get some. Surely me getting safe shipping passage is worth a few potatoes. And that's really all it is, a few potatoes. It's kind of a shame that they can't see the glowing light of the cross. Too far, eh? What do you mean these bullets can't go a few kilometers? Come on. How you like them apples? I'm guessing not a lot. Wonder if ships have weak spots. Some shots are certainly doing more damage than others. Now I want to know how I can steal their parts. How do I just take this stuff? I mean, surely, surely that's goodies for me, right? 
You're messing with the wrong crusader. It might not be. I'm doing all sorts of bad rolls here. Clearly leading my shots too much. Right, there we go. Two down, approximately three to go. I'm gonna blast out for a bit. So they can see my cross before it turns around to look at them. Jings, their shots are just bouncing off my incredible armor. Not to mention my armor's got all this shielding on it. Energy shielding. Oh yeah, you're going straight to hell, friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what did I just what did I just steal from them? Scrap iron plus regular iron. All right, sunshine. done with you just yet. I mean, I've just mown down half your buddies. Why... Why are you still having a go? Oh, why am I having a go? I'm turning very poorly here. Give me the goods, give me the goods, give me the goods. Oh, I see. Some bits float around. That's going to be a pain to track down. There we go. So that should be the end of all my problems for a wee while, right? And then I can just go and hoover up the items that they dropped behind for me. The length at which I can grab things is disappointingly short. And now I need to keep track of where I destroyed them all. Where are, the, where are the rest of the wrecks? Actually, can I continue to blow you up? Yeah, that's what I think of you and your stupid ass ship. Or is there not something I can do, like steal the ship or sell the ship or something? I think I'm grabbing some space scrap, but... Surely, surely there's a better way to go about this. Purifying mining laser. Salvaging laser. Breaks alloys down into scrap metal, no damage to shields. Hmm. In that case, could I get rid of you? Have the salvaging laser on. Change my salvaging laser to... Why is it saying no? It seems to look like it doesn't want to be on. is it doing? It's it's not aiming, that's for sure. Maybe it can only be positioned on the front? It seems to have severe difficulty aiming forward. Oh, no, there we go. I'm unsure of the merits of this, but I know I want the goodies that came from the other guys. This doesn't seem very good, getting little bits of scrap iron when I can mine loads of scrap iron out of asteroids. It's also very loud! <laughs>
Yeah, I saw that wire. I don't know what that's all about. There's not weapon degradation in this game, is there? I am unconvinced of the merits of this scrap. Now, problem. There were a bunch of other ships that I destroyed, and they left goods floating around, and now I can't even see where they were. Meaning I'm not getting those goodies, which doesn't seem right. I want those goodies. Maybe they've despawned, or I just needle in a haystack moment here. The map, of course, isn't helping me here. Dang, does that mean you've really got to be on the ball harvesting a ship you're destroying? Or maybe all the wreckage is over here and I didn't notice. Certainly a fair bit of wreckage there. Man, no, no kidding about meaning some deceleration on this bulky beast. You picked up a new subsystem, Jack. Accelerating engine subsystem. Ups acceleration by 11%. Eh. Sounds like something I'd sell. Hello? Oh no, it was just scrap iron. Damn it all, where are all the goodies? Also, what's up with this mission? Pirate raid. No, that's not the one. Missing freighters. The pirates are not considered defeated. Don't tell me I need to defeat that big thing in the distance, because that seems like it might be a bit much for me. This just does not seem to be particularly worthwhile. Right, so you are a pirate shipyard. I don't know how well defended you are or how much you're going to ruin my day, but I barely took any damage earlier, so how about we... Get rid of this weird thing. Slam on a regular chain gun. I, do, I don't like that. So much switching out, switching out of weapons seems weird. like to just slam them all down and then activate them as and when I need, but no, there's limits on that. Looks like you can target individual modules. You should probably take out the turrets on that thing if it has any. Well, it's beyond me what it has and doesn't have. Maybe we'll see when it starts shooting at us. On that note, should I be repairing here? No enemies are nearby. Maybe within 10 kilometers counts as nearby. Any sign of gun? Any sign of gun? If it starts dealing some serious damage, I just gotta leg it. Maybe I could tear this dock apart piece by piece, but wouldn't it be nicer to just take the whole freaking dock? Or do I just have to destroy it? Am I even in the right sector? Yeah, I am. What do I do? It feels like a waste to destroy this thing. Maybe I can interact with the thing? No, no F to talk. Docking might not be a good idea since I know this game has boarding. It mentioned defense against boarding earlier. I do have some crew, don't I? You sure I can't dock on this thing? Looks like such a friendly place as well. Who are we to say it's full of pirates? Oh well, not getting anything out of them, so time for this whole place to go up in flames. Oh, we might be here for a while. to interact with? Well, it's not doing any of that.
Yeah, no, I'm pressing F. It's not letting me dock. Seems a bit extreme. Maybe there's some kind of weak point that blows the whole thing up. I do appreciate their purple and green motif, though. Uh, okay, there's got to be some other way about this. Even doing damage? Anybody notice that that bar is going down at all? At this point, ramming speed almost seems like an option. It's also very loud. Can we see its um, its overall health? I can see the bar, sure, but. at least get rid of that wreckage. Maybe I can do something to you down here. Maybe it's got some defensive measures to stop working if you shoot off the power supply like the solar cells. What I'd like is some kind of weak spot that I can just... Hang on, maybe I should check my mission. Pretend to be a freighter, investigate. Go to the sector. Well, I'm in the sector. I don't know why this isn't crossed off. 395154. Defeat the... I mean, the pirates look pretty dead to me. What else do they want me to do? Shipyard, one of me. I, d I don't get it. I guess we just gotta keep shooting this thing for a long, long time. I can't be right. Maybe I'm meant to have better guns at this point. Oh well. Again, let's hope there isn't weapon degradation. Oh yeah, I can see the hull now has a percentage thing, 68,000. Oh, we're going to be here a while. I still don't understand why I have to kill this thing. <laughs> it's it's ripe for just the taking. Sounds dangerous, Marvin. What if it blows up and uh, the explosion takes us with it? It doesn't say you have to destroy the base, so yeah, but the mission isn't saying that it's done. appreciate the nice big explosions, but... This does not at all feel like what we signed up for. Hang on, am I actually tearing this thing apart? It looks like that bit got partially destroyed. in my imagination.
yeah, us having space magic to work with is useful. Okay, that's definitely tearing it apart. Maybe I can actually just rip this piece off. <laughs> Look at all the scrap I'm getting. What do we have here? Oh right, I, th I thought that was uh, a ship approaching. No, it was just a very small part of debris. Do we do any bonus um, hull damage when we take off a piece like that? Yeah, how fast does it repair? I didn't pay attention, but probably too fast. Oh, the long play is going great, Bell, but we seem to have reached a bit of an impasse. We killed the pirates, and it didn't complete the mission, so I'm assuming I also need to take down the pirate base. Unfortunately, I'm a little under armed for such a thing. And it's taken a while. We're about 20% of the way through over the past five minutes. You're spreading out the damage, Jake. Each block has its own hit point pool. So you're saying I should go back to the one I was focusing on earlier. Alright. Who was I focusing down? I think it was... You. This is just ridiculous. If I pause, does the game actually pause? I think it does. Now then, let's have, let's say 20 clicks per second with that trigger, and I want it to be a toggle. There we go. Now I can just kind of leave it to be, I think. Right. Let's gingerly go and get some water and hope that this doesn't ruin everything.
there's definitely something not right about this, isn't there? Get a little closer so everything's still firing good and proper. Oh, that might be a little too close. This is the first mission we got from the first station that we were right next to at the very start of the game. How does it... How is part of that tearing down this enormous space station is beyond me? There's a glowing thing in the distance. Ooh, there is! I want that, I want that. What if the thing regenerates too much? Screw it, let's go for it. Oh, it was just two bits of scrap titanium. Okay, hopefully it didn't regenerate much, or even at all, during that. <sighs> Mate, this is going to take hours to get through. It's not going to take hours. But then again, it could take an hour, couldn't it? How long are we shooting at this thing? Well, we could time it once it gets down to a reasonable amount. So, 53 now. Someone start a timer if you could, please. Uh, that wasn't much forewarning, was it? Wait, it just went up a bit. How much is this thing repairing by? Too much. Try shooting other parts of the ship. Who knows? There might be certain spots weaker than others. I think we found one of the weaker spots right here. And again, you may have a point. I should try other places. I was hoping to just completely destroy that part and maybe even just break part of the ship off. You know. Couldn't I assign an extra pa whoa, whoa. Couldn't I assign an extra person to gunning? Okay, I thought maybe that would give extra shootiness. There's no way this is the right thing to do. It's the first bleeding mission. Well, if nothing else, I can strafe and blow more bits up. Come now, what's the difference between a ship and a space station? Really? I don't think missions are balanced, right? Like I said, this is the first mission that we got from the first space station that you start the game at after the tutorial. I reckon that took about one or two minutes to deal 30,000 damage. Uh, no, 3,000 damage. Still though, I've started so I'll finish. There's no way I'm not destroying this thing. So, really, this is going to take about half an hour if you want to go and just, well, go. That might be an idea. From an older Steam thread, it helps a lot to have weapons that penetrate shields. If you have weapons that have a strong chance of penetrate shields, you should focus fire on the station turrets. Disarm the station, just pummel it till it dies. Plasma turrets, and I think lasers, are specifically designed to break shields, so consider using those. Yeah, but I can't really do anything on build. No, I, I think I can switch out weapons, but what do I have? Energy type... DPS 18.7. 19 point something seems even better though, which is what we're using. Yeah, it is shieldless. Battle a bat and use the salvaging laser. The salvaging laser might get me more out of this, mightn't it? Oh, that's not what we want. I don't want to give that thing time to regenerate, do I? Get rid of chain gun, bring in salvaging laser. Ooh, purifying. Salvaging laser, let's see if you can help out a touch. Unsure if DPS is going up, but hey, it certainly tore that piece off. Which may or may not be good. 
Maybe ripping off entire pieces does significant hull damage. Would be kind of cool. Shoot the generators in the fat part of the station. I will give that a go too. We'll try anything as long as we're constantly shooting at the the beast. We are slow and drifting around. What do you think are the engines anyway? Oh dear lord! What just what just flew off there? And why did it fly so far away from me? I wanted it. Ship hit point is governed by the size of it. Stations have a minimum size that don't really take low level areas into account. I don't know what I'm reading there, but okay. Well, that health is going down and down some. What are, what are these hints the game is trying to give me? Yeah, what was that bit that just flew off? It's, it's almost like it was speaking to me as it flew away and then disappeared. I'm at a loss for what is happening here, but it is happening. Maybe if it was uh, begging me to spare, it's like, hey, this looks vulnerable and titanium-ish. And I'm getting a lot of scrap titanium out of it, which might be good. Give me your everything. I'm not looking for scrap iron here, I want titanium. Jeez, the whole thing's just exploding now. It's fine, I guess. Can't even see the health because of this angle. What if I tear this part off? Maybe that would take off a significant amount of the ship. Now, I've tried shooting this thing a lot, and I have chipped it away, but perhaps not enough. The early game starves you of module slots to use weapons, and weapons themselves are generally chain guns, on top of limiting the amount of ships you can have at this point. I'm assuming that the blue numbers are my mining laser? That's quite an assumption, though. What's the button for free camera? I want to look around a bit here. Without doing the aiming stuff. Little mouse panning? No. Mm. Oh man. Marek, this is the worst time you could raid. We're just sitting here holding left mouse button until this thing dies. So far we've done about one third of its health. And it's taken maybe 25 minutes. Why does it keep talking to me occasionally when a piece breaks off? That I don't get. Or is the game trying to give me some advice? Yeah, so this game is a Vorion. People have described it as Ugly X3, I think. I never really took to the X games. But this game I like. Hell, this game I really like, despite the weirdness that we're seeing here. I was inspired to find our Favoria and see what my old save is up to. Care to see a design? Um, when we get to the point of having lots of... What is that? What is that thing heading out of the dock there? I should destroy that dock because it's scary, you know? I think when we get to the point of having multiple ships, I won't be opposed to people that become, become the ships putting in um, design ideas, but I do not want to uh, take any pre-mades from, say, the Steam Workshop. What the heck? Is that someone coming in and... What are you? Well, whatever you are, I don't like the fact that you're tickling the docking part here, so let's just remove that. 
some items are reserved for AI, is what it said as it blasted off there, like Team Rocket. Why am I not taking them though? Why do they fly away? I want them. I'm not tearing this thing apart for the giggles of it. Oh, show in picture form. Oh, sure. Ah, I can only be picked up by them. Well, it didn't stop other people stealing my space potatoes. They're quite discriminated against. Alright, the thing's down to one third health, and we're continuing to blow the bugger up. <laughs> when a very massive and a very lacking in mass object collide, which do you think takes more damage? Oh, what did I just get? What just happened? Mining job? This isn't the time. I'm mining an entire station here. He wants you to test out your new R mining laser. Did I just steal a uh, uh, mining laser? What was it called? Standard R mining laser. 2,000... Oh, 20,000 damage to stone. That sounds good. But my regular... Well, the ones I started the game with do the same, so why would I want this? More DPS, I suppose. Higher tech. Sounds cool. Maybe I could change out my purifying thing for this new one that we picked up. Couldn't hurt, right? No, not the time, not the time. I can't really come away from it rolling, but once the thing is destroyed, by then I'll probably forget. Raw mining lasers fill up your inventory with loot, give you three to four times more material out of it. Ah, but the, then you have to go and get them smelted or whatever and pay commission, right? That's the one thing I hate, it's paying. That's the one thing I hate paying, it's commission. more damage now? Maybe this uh, our mining laser is shooting faster or some such. Alright, let's strafe it for a while. Must be something with slightly more value to destroy. I believe it won't give me those parts. What a stingy game. But I suppose I should be grateful that there have been no backup pirates arriving. Not that I think I'd have too much difficulty disposing of them, but any time that I'm out shooting this thing it's repairing. Heck, I think it's repairing even while I do shoot at it. It was quite nice of it to give me that mining laser right now, though. I wonder how I got that. This thing dropping down items will be rather nice. How are my weapons not overloaded? been firing for a long time now. Let's see if we can detach this part. Looks like a real snazz Star Fox piece. Fall, fall. Got me a staggering three credits. Oh, hi. Why anything in this game would give three credits when you start the game with about 20,000 is also beyond me, but I don't have the big brain for these space games, I it seems. I can see some people thinking, oh, why are you even doing this? I know it hardly makes the compelling viewing, but when you come against a big brick wall like this, sometimes you just want to keep beating it until it breaks down. And right now, the brick wall is fumbling. Oh, 
What is Freelancer Double? So mean. Not, ooh, that looks like titanium-ish stuff. Can you give it to me? Probably shouldn't give the thing a chance to. Whoa! What are you doing? Give that back! There we go. I got myself a civil turret control subsystem, and it's pretty. No, it's petty. Well, if I had another turret, I'd be able to shoot this thing faster, but I don't want to give it repairing time. Yeah, screw it, let's have a quick look. Ship menu. Subsystems. Accelerating. Control turret. Let's get rid of revealing. Give ourselves control subsystemy thing. And now we can have another turret. So we can shoot this thing a bit faster. Get that DPS going. Uh, but I can still have... No, that's it. Still, it's more turrets. More better. Check your email. Yeah, I know it's flashing at me, but I don't have time. Like I said, we can't leave the sink to repair. I'll tell you, that was a nice subsystem to get, though. More gun. More gun, more good. I'm trying breaking this part off before it's just not coming. Maybe. We haven't really strafed down this part, have we? Perhaps we should. Perhaps we shouldn't bump into it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some gun. Just wish it wouldn't preserve those pieces. I guess I should be grateful that they're not um, sending in reinforcements if nothing else. You can permanently equip for modules for more slots, potentially. I don't know what you mean by that. But maybe someday I will. Okay. How much is left of this thing? 20% hull remains. I swear, if something comes along at the 13th hour to... Uh, to ruin my assault here. I will not be best pleased. Something like the the shop coming and saying, oh yeah, I see you're doing a good job. By the way, where are our potatoes? I'd not be best pleased. Not at all. Okay, we still do damage along here, which is potentially good. Let's see if we can't break off a part of it. For example, if I just shoot at this, am I going to break this little piece off? Well, how are we looking again? Let's try strafing our... Oh, oh, it's going! Oh, yeah! I like them apples. Wait, I think this is still counting as its hull? No, it's not. It's not at all. Then I shouldn't be breaking it for no good reason. Alright, so if that broke off, can we break you off here? If you hover over the subsystem, it'll tell you what the bonuses are locked behind the permanent installation. Usually there's a free slot or two behind that. And as I recall, permanent installations can be taken out if you are in a shipyard. Are they making a permanent at all? Okay, 15% of this thing's hull remains. I guess this is a means to beat the ever-loving Christ out of something. I'd like to get an angle where we see more of the cross, though. It's a shame, I was really hoping to break this part off. I suppose it is four times the area to break off that we had last time, so... It's just not having any of that. I see what you're saying, but there's no way I want to take my finger off the trigger here. We can have a look at permanent installation once the... Jotsu Azizam Pirate Station is dead. Okay, that piece is not giving, sadly. Good old strafe. Let me see if we can find something else to tactically destroy. Very happy to pick up that more deck, a more better module, though. 
Yeah, it seems like breaking parts off of this has been very beneficial. Often it says, oh, you can't have this, but sometimes it's much more willing to give it to me. Like that combat turret control subsystem. Do I even have space for another subsystem here? Combat turret control subsystem thing, gib. And then, wrong menu, ship menu, more DACA, required, more DACA, acquired. Lucky I fetched myself something to drink, I was afraid I'd miss the end, says Marvin. Yeah, I would be as well. Good thing they have uh, lost their ability to cry out for help, because if they had been able to put out a distress signal, other pirates would have shredded me by now. There's only 9% left in this bad boy. There we go, that's what I think of your stupid freaking ship. And then I get corrected, it's not a ship, it's a station. I like this more DACA approach though. I wasn't intending on going for a militant run here, but I, I was actually intending on playing some kind of nice trading, money-making expedition. But when you have this much DACA, which I am open to the idea that this isn't much DACA in the grand scheme of things, then how are you meant to hold back? Seems like plenty of early game back. I don't know enough about this game to say if you can do perfect hands or not. Seems like the kind of game with people with four thousand of hours into the game would still not have that answer for you. Oh, what have we here? Another combat control common sub thing to check God, even once this thing's completely destroyed, maybe I just want to keep tearing it apart for pieces, because it's got some nice modules. I don't know if modules sell for good money, or if modules are ever worth considering selling. But maybe. The kind of game you put in 3.4 million hours and write a negative review. I think so, Marvin. Not sure anyone's got a million hour thing. I know, I know I'm being poor. Better than being dead, which is what all the people on board this system are about to be in about 30 seconds. Go for another nice sweet straight, see if we can't break off anything in the, me in the meantime, like you. What determines if a part has a module or a thing for you to get when you break it off? Does anybody happen to know? Lots of things breaking off, but not always things I can have, sadly. Alright! Finally! It's dead! How in God's name was that meant to be a starter mission? Oh my goodness, look at all these goods! Your cargo bay configuration does not allow having this. What are you talking about? Are you telling me that I need more cargo space? Cargo, 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 hmm. Do, does that, is that how it works? I don't understand the whole cargo thing here. Um, it's also not showing cargo yet. There we go, cargo hold, 112, blah, blah, blah. Cargo. Out of my way. Oh god, scrap takes up space. How much space do I have? And also, why am I not allowed to collect that? Pick up scrap, ores, stolen goods? Oh, that could be a problem. Dangerous goods? Illegal goods? Yeah, give it all to me. Come on, they're pirates. Give me back your stolen goods. Better not dump the tatties, they'll be on my case about that. Jings. Uh, my credit's fairly shot up. Salvaging laser uncommon. My turning really is dog dirt here, isn't it? Really thinking that we should be switching to 
salvaging what we can off of this thing. So let's get rid of our big old nasty guns. How do I get myself off of this thing? There we go. What are you? Mining lasers, fine. Double chain gun, nope. Nope, let's just go with salvaging lasers. Purifying mining laser is probably okay as well. I think I've hit the limit on these guys, but... We do this and we get a whole lot of glass and a lot of scrap titanium. Well, I think what's left of this thing is about to go bye-bye. Now, how big of a problem are these stolen goods going to be? I mean, surely it's okay, right? They're not my stolen goods. Well, they are now. Hmm. Are there any more nice big things for me to grab off of you? Like when you exploded, you cast out a lot of items. At least maybe parts will break off easier now. Oh yeah! Sadly, it's scrap iron. Lots of scrap iron, but I'm not here for scrap iron. Yeah, but what can I do with stolen goods? Legitimately. Um, can I return them? Can I hand them in to the authorities? Or do I just leave them to be floating around? Because I have a feeling that just having them on me is going to be a problem if I get scanned. Selling to pirates might be difficult, considering the enemies I've made here. I should look into what my stolen goods are right now, actually. Oh, yes, yeah, stolen scrap iron? Just dump it. I don't think uh, stolen goods are... A good idea. Same with illegal goods. Let's just not invite that trouble upon us, given the, the difficulties we went to to get this far. There's plenty of scrap to be had. Why am I not really going... I'm just getting blasted by these. Away we get with the power of Christ. And then is there anything else here worth our time salvaging? Why oh, keep stolen goods when are there all these murdered goods? Difficult questions. Well sure, if the police can spare me 45 minutes, then I don't I don't have any good reason to be afraid of them. Sensors picked up short bursts of subspace signals. Is that a problem? Might be a problem. I should go back and report about these potatoes. Salvage the habitat blocks. There might be biomass. <laughs> well, whatever this block is, it's putting up some fierce resistance, and it doesn't look like any kind of block we've seen before, so what are you? We're not shooting at the station, we're carefully carving up the station. See? Uh, <laughs> that felt like a controlled explosion from... Game name, game name... Hard Space Shipbreaker. You're right though, there might still be biomass in there. And I want it. <laughs> so close there. Just keeping the whole thing together. Come now, pirates. I may be out of potatoes, but maybe I can bring a bit more of a green food solution. This is the last bit, I swear. We take this out, we go back, and we try to justify the loss of potatoes. Maybe I need to go and speak to the other pirates first as well, though. There we go. Jings, that wasn't even as much of it as I thought. 
But we did get a lot of scrap. Out. Man, this is good for scrapping. So much scrap iron. Unfortunately, iron is the easiest thing to get, so it doesn't feel particularly good. Uh, thank you for returning our people. What? Our people have returned home safely. We are in your debt. You may keep the cargo we gave you. Oh, right, right. Oh, thank God I can keep the potatoes. This must be the people who were talking to me about that, that mission, right? That's what I'll believe. You can keep the cargo. What kind of joke is that? Where's my real reward? Right, prepare for fight. You know, it's all about cargo here, clearly. Oh, but there's still some goods floating around that I didn't collect. It looks like it's just scrap. Oh, right, no, that that is the scrap, but it's uh, not good scrap. I thought I got the, those credits from blowing up the station rather than anything else. For whatever, for whatever reason, damage does good stuff like that. Okay, ships of the Lofa. These were the pirate guys, right? I should go and speak to them and say, hey... I did your bloody homework for you. Don't ask why it took three hours. On the other hand, maybe I should re-equip some guns. I don't, I, I don't like it. There must be a better way for it, rather than having to constantly go in here and switch out my guns from military to non-military. Maybe there's a way to like quick save and quick load a design? Or something? I don't know. Oh, I would like some better guns, but guns are expensive. Double cannon, double cannon. And then... I don't know, chain gun, chain gun. And that uses up all of our arm turret slots, but it's a good amount of, good amount of shooting, right? Hard to tell at a glance which my best ones are. Like you, buy sprayer? Physical, armed, gunner, damage. Hefty damage at that. You get out of here, I want my buy sprayer. Tolerance on this ship. From inventory, you can change it. Inventory? Not cargo, but something else perhaps? Nice having all these going now. Yeah, that that kind of mission would benefit from warning me I have to take out an entire station, because all it said at the start was I had to eliminate the pirates. <laughs> okay, ship tab. Hangar, torpedo, energy, cargo, subsystem, crew, ship. I'm not really seeing how I'm meant to quickly change about Alien ships. Now, are aliens always bad, I wonder? That looks kind of bad, but we're neutral, so they probably won't attack me on sight. I'm just wondering where those chaps that I saw here were. They seem to have gone away. Bunch of pirates are over there at Holy Testament. I'm gonna be the end of them. Holy Testament? Gotta go. You can right click guns in the ship, screen and replace. Oh, ship screen. Screen is in the action for some reason. But where are the guns in this? See any guns? Ah, here are guns. Ah, replace. Quick way to do it, but I would like to just have a mutton that I mash to change out from this layout to another layout. Is there such an option? Otherwise it's still a bit of a pain in the bum. But maybe the idea is to have specialized ships for these? I don't know. Right, what am I doing here again? Ah, I'm heading over to see those pirates and ruin their lives.
which means I should probably look over towards that pirate raid thing. Uh, but I still need to increase size. Well, if I must. As you said, we have a good bit of a scratch, so we might as well go back and get kitted out with bigger, better guns and go and spread our peaceful ways through force. Oh, that's some nice DACA. And I bet it gets even better. A lot better. At least if we have to take out another station, we have slightly more DACA with which to do it. Although I can still see Kicked not being happy. <laughs> Don't worry, it amuses me. I know that's all we're really after. This is going to suck for a first episode of a long play. Don't particularly care about uptake and viewers on VODs or even live, but anybody who comes in going, Oh boy, Avorian, I want to check this out. They sit down for about 40 minutes of just shooting the same station. At least the future viewers have the benefit of a skip button. Right, what's this all about? Distorted? Recharging is... Wait, enemies? I didn't agree to enemies. Five pirates. Oh, I didn't repair, did I? Can I repair? No enemies are nearby. Where are these enemies? You guys. You don't look very friendly. On the other hand, who are you? What's up? Anything interesting? Smuggler. Okay. That sounds interesting. Yes, yes, yes. I'm wondering, are you going to be attacked by those pirates? Or no, I'm being attacked, right. Engage the Jesus Overdrive. Let's try and bring the pirates over to you, and then maybe he'll go, help, help, I'm under attack. And then, of course, he'll want our help. Eh, there, there's a thought. We'll give it the Rimworld approach. Are the pirates still after me? Yeah, they're kind of coming this way. Not very fast, though. James, that one's 50 kilometers away. Also, what's that? You're telling me I was low on fuel or energy or... Uh-oh. All these uh, modules that I'm using are eating me up, aren't they? Kind of, probably. Maybe I should take off one of my subsystems. Civilian turret control thing. Well, there I should have a bit more power to play with now. Hopefully. Now I've lost my bearings. Still have all my guns, though. Alright, who wants some first? Although, again, I want them to attack this guy. So this guy begs for my help. And then I help him and take his stuff. A potentially brilliant idea. Let's see if it works. But I need those pirates to come over here first. Who's coming? That outlaw doesn't appear to be moving towards me, or are they? Maybe I, maybe no? no he's definitely getting closer. The question is, will he deal with you? You are part of the Galactic Collection of Lofa. Am I part of the Lofas? Alliance, pending, fleet, inventory, I, I don't actually know. We don't know much about who we are or what we're doing here. Right, don't have anything to do with me. Take out my friend here. Ah! <laughs> okay. Let's do our part in all of this. I'm doing my part. I need a fair bit of DAC to myself here. Yeah, there you go, you like those apples. I gotta say, these shields are working wonders. Taking too much damage. I'm out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Now, as for your friends here. By the way, did they take out my friend? Remember, I want to clean up here. Should we 
clean enough parts before I... You, are you alright? No, you look pretty dead. Did you drop anything? I feel like my uh, cross has gone all... All off-center. Hey, look, look at that! Accelerated engine thingamajigger module. Mm. Don't worry, friend. I'll make sure this is put to good use. Credits, credits, piece of something. A tractor beam upgrade uncommon mark three. What it all means, I do not know. Maybe I'll never know. I <laughs> like the blinking of their dead ship. Okay, what else you got for me? More modules, I dare to say. Mmm, accelerating engine system petty thing. Anyway. We want to switch out our ship's guns for... Uh, now we want to mine? Still feels like more work than... than the other way. Salvaging laser? What are you? A chain gun? Mining laser, I guess? Iron mining turret. No damage to shields. Refined stone. Ooh, stone into resources. Does that mean regular stone? No, probably not. Alright, well, let's just remove you for now. So these are my armed turret slots. Okay, fair enough. Let's just shred whatever we find here into goodies. Along the way, maybe find some more goodies. Like that scrap titanium. Still feel like I'm not properly using the right tools for scrapping remains, but hey ho. Um, there we go. Little tiny bits of scrap titanium don't seem worth my time, but hey. Some scrap to be had. This commute is getting worse every day. Uh, what's that thing over there? Is that a is that something I destroyed and left behind? There's still bits flying around here. Jings, I dread to think how many lovely modules I left hanging from the guys I destroyed earlier, but such is how it goes. If you destroy the block with anything but a salvaging gun, it doesn't count. Really? What do I have again here? That's a salvaging laser. That's a mining laser. That's also a mining laser. Do I only have... Whoa! Flawless dual chain gun. 35 DPS. Apparently rare. Alright, so I guess just salvaging laser? It just seems like a huge pain in the bum to keep changing these things out. There's got to be a better way to it. Even better than the other way I was shown. Okay, now this is doing a fair bit more in the whole tearing them apart. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow-up question, can we salvage the... No! How can this be? Things I can't have? Um, Could I dump some of my scrap, met uh, scrap iron? Surely it's not worth much at all. What if I just dump 500 of it? What did I pick up? It was probably just... Oh, loads more scrap iron. Yeah, well. What's your, what's your name? I saw a weird purple thing. Huh? Oh, heavens knows. Okay, is there anything here that I have not yet picked clean? You're just a bit more scrap, aren't you? The average price of it is right next to the dump button. That scrap is only worth like four credits each. Ah, uh, average credit price. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Scrap metal's okay. That makes up for it in bulk. I should probably just refine it down into regular iron and stop taking up cargo space. Right, tell you what we're definitely doing though. That's getting back to... Ooh, more pirates to destroy. 
let's go and save the freaking day. But again, having to switch out my weapons every time is just... Yeah. Still, we get to try out this new flawless double thingamajigger. And what was our other... The, yeah, this, the buy sprayer. What was buy sprayer's fancy thing? The fact that it's physical, perhaps. And then another double chain gun. And then another double chain gun. Two and two and two and two and looking good. And can we do anything with our modules? Turrets, beams, revealing radars. I don't know, they're all looking a bit samey to me. It would give me another slot for turrets, but uh, I'd probably have to consider power usage, and these things do drink power. Look at that, another. Oh yeah, oh I see, I see. So if you permanently install it, it's going to use even more energy and give you yet another uh, turret slot. That could be good. There seems to be an F favorite button on the screen with the guns. I think that just adds a star to it, as best as I can tell. It's probably just a way to notice it. I just want a quick switch button, so I don't need to keep switching between this and my mining layout. If anybody knows of such a way, I'm all ears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not even sure I got anything good out of him, but it felt good to know that the game would work that way. I like games that have this kind of emergent gameplay to it. Ah, my ship's fine, Borg. Surely we don't need repairs after dealing with a few more scrawny pirates. Uh, scrawny pirates are still a jump away, right? Yeah, plus there's another friendly ship. Which could be turned into a pile of friendly scrap. You can't easily swap guns. You can use control gun. Yeah, but that's the problem. You still need to equip them on your ship to enable and disable. And that's where that hard, well, not hard limit, but that limit on the amount of weapons you can have becomes a royal pain in the bum. Right. Where is the friendly here? Is there even still a friendly here? No, no. Just the demon. All 100% distance. Too close. They're violating our NAP. Engage. Come on here, bandit! Oh, I'm gonna be making out like a bandit, I think. Give me your goods. Give me all your freaking goods. Yeah, I suppose I should deal with the others before salvaging. I'm seeing some nice numbers coming up from, uh, from our weapon upgrade. I don't have any way of hailing you, do I? I don't seem not. I was hoping maybe I could say, you know, I'll let you live, but you have to give me literally all of your money. But, uh... Maybe it doesn't flow that way. What's these shiny things? What are you? A fine dual point defense cannon rare. I haven't had to think about point defences. Maybe I will soon enough. <laughs> yeah, we give our hailing with bullets. Yeah, the, it's a bit of a, a bit of a pain having to fly to all these items to grab them, and then of course some of them are just wastes of time. So maybe a, uh, a keen shooter and looter either grabs as they destroy, or they know what they're looking for. Either way, you need a fairly maneuverable vehicle to be dealing with all this. Get out of here. Is that thing still firing, or...? Maybe I, maybe not. I swear there was another one I destroyed, and now I can't see it. But I'm not good at operating in 3D space. No siree. There's not a local map, is there? Like, I open this up and it'll show me the area? Mm, perhaps not, that'd be useful. Could you save the mining freight up center and then just load it? Don't know. 
Maybe what I could do is build another ship with all the mining stuff and just have it escort with me, but then that's another ship I have to protect. Right. Let's go navigate back. We've got stuff to part with, repairs to make, and potentially more DACA? Not sure about that. Hmm? What's it pointing at down there? What are you? Was that something that I destroyed and didn't collect the goods off of? Let's have a quick check. A wee gander. I wouldn't say you're quite picked clean, but I doubt those credits are what I really want to come back here for. Is it just me or has the game not been playing much music in a long time? at all. The trick is building a mining ship and then a light escort for it early and then banishing them off to make you money and metal. Like the sound of that, we can go back and build extra ships here. How long has the music player been out for the count though? Normally I get a bit nervous when there's no background music when I'm streaming. And I'm feeling it now. <laughs> Maybe it just tuned out during the the Great Siege of the Pirate Base. I've got my volume pretty high. If it was playing, I'd know it. Oh, no, there we go. We got something. Just needed to come to a place with a reason to load up. Recht. Still don't really understand what these different places do. Resource depot, shipyard, noble metal mine, M. Nay clue, but you'd think shipyard is a place to go to build some additional ship. Although, I'm not drowning in titanium, which is something I should strongly consider getting more of. Well, you'd think that the resource depot is a place that I smelt things down. I need to take note of what the different places do. Now, I didn't pick up any riskier stolen goods, so even if I get scanned, surely I'll be fine around here. I think this game's a great long play choice, as in, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's the kind of game I think I'd enjoy playing offline as well, but it also seems like if I were playing it offline, as in not on stream, I'd feel like it's burning too much time, and then I might drop it for that reason alone. Which seems a bit, seems a bit yucky, but who knows? Anyway, glad to have it. Happy that it won, even though I didn't really know what I was getting in for. Can we tractor beam in? Yes. All right. So I want to refine my ores. Just take them all. So we get that, and then you take your two percent cut, which is tiny, and it only takes five seconds again. It's not a huge bang to get, but why not? And then, what else do we do with you? Well, I'm not seeing much value in selling this stuff or buying. Although, to be fair, I could make a fair bit of wonga off of the iron, but probably best to keep it around, right? And they don't have... Wait, deliver 15,000 titanium? What do you take me for? Although maybe, uh, somebody was saying you can get a lot more from using that raw stuff, but you then you have to refine it. Maybe we could actually make a shockingly large amount of titanium. Let's see if that's a bulletin thing for them to give us. No, there's nothing available. Oh well, I tried. Why does it say deliver 15,000? Repair dock. Surely that's somewhere to go. You can leave your ship at any time with T, then build a new ship from there. The shipyard's intended for making ships based on presets and generators. Any time, eh? So can I have ships that follow me around and then fight with me? Because fighting I am pretty dog dirt at. Having a bunch of AI made ships to do it for me would be very nice. Uh is it good I need to not crash into this thing? They didn't like that. 
It's okay though. I'm sure we're okay. Gotta remember this thing doesn't dampen particularly well. But also, we have relations of about 80,000, so I don't think it's too bad to take a little bump like that. You can have combat escort ships. Well, that's just wonderful news. Uh, why are we not slowing down? We tracked her beam. Okay, repair dock. Wait, it's free to repair? My ship isn't damaged? What? My ship was taking gunfire left, right, and center. Allows quick reconstruction of destroyed ship. Da -da 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 -da. I already have one. No need to tow. What else do you offer me? Resource shortage of steel. How do you make steel? I've only got these things. I don't know about steel. Maybe it's something you have to buy in another place. And that's a hefty reward, but like I said, I don't know who sells that, so too bad. Maybe we've managed to build some kind of easter egg ship that cannot take damage. Because it's God's chosen one. Right. Did we already check the resource depot? No, we went to shipyard and then... No, this is the shipyard. No, that's repair deck. Christ, now I don't know where I've been or what I'm doing. I'm not going to put that to the test, although we did just bump into the thing and surprisingly took no damage. Okay, quite satisfied. Now what I want to do, I think, is... Um, well, I wanted to make another escort ship to put all this DAC onto. I have plenty of iron, so surely I could... I thought pressing T ejected me into my little... Yeah, there we go. Oh god, come back! Okay, whew. Well, I think I came back into it. You need to slow down there. Perhaps I really should get some dampeners for you. Right. Sorely tempted to make one or even two more ships. Ah, but power generation will be a problem without titanium. Right, then. We're going to go and get ourselves a lot of titanium. Where was that awesome... Oh, why did I not make a marker of it? That awesome place with titanium. My mistake to make. But at least we have enough DACA to go out and explore for some. We're going to get titanium. We're going to build two or three shooty, escorty ships. And then maybe go on a rampage? I don't know. Depends who wants us to go and kill for them. But that'll be something we do next time. I've got a taste for this game. I really just want to sit down and play a lot of it. Might just do that tomorrow. <laughs> I know I have DDR scheduled, but I wasn't going to do DDR tomorrow anyway, because after today's DDR, uh, I need shoes before I play it again, or a few days break. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with a nasty blister and not, uh, not play it for a wee while. So, sucks for the DDR fans. I suppose big win for the backers of Avorion. This game is great from the four hours we've sunk into it so far, even though 20% of that was just holding down left mouse button to blow up a station. I still liked how everything comes together. Although I'm seeing it as a great emergent space game. Which is funny, because as I said before, E, uh, X just didn't click with me. Still, I'll be back with more of this undoubtedly tomorrow. Undoubtedly for an unhealthy amount of tomorrow, the way this is going. But until I am back with that, so cheers and cheerio.